All right, another successful mission. Strangely uncomfortable. Can you ask the raptor for motivation, please? Okay. Uh, she's very photogenic. Nothing can stop us now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's Chip and Dale. How are you guys doing? Hello, Grogu. Universal Orlando Resort, Earl the Squirrel needs his own Christmas tree over here for the meet and greet. I think so. I think we're going to make that happen. Four of you have tried to kill me in the past. One of you succeeded. Oh, wow. Do you think the people on the moon ever look over and say, wow? It's a full spaceship Earth tonight. Well, welcome back to the sign, welcoming you to the Universal Orlando Resort. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> Hiya, Scooby. We're here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort with the newly opened Kona, I don't remember what it's called. Good afternoon and welcome in everybody. Right behind Owen is Stitch. Stitch. Hi guys, welcome in. Coming to you live from the Walt Disney World Resort. Leaving Epcot and hitting the Disney Skyliner Station. We're coming to you from Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando. You guys ready to head on out? Let's go. We're celebrating Christmas in July and hitting 25,000 Magic Crew members here on our channel by doing a four park stream. And this is part two, so welcome in everybody. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort for the final stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Epcot and World Showcase. Did you learn how to say hello in a different language today? Konnichiwa! Bonsoir! But I guess we're going past the rats where you can like subtly hear the theme music. <laughs> Welcome in everybody. If you're just joining us here live, we're so glad you can hang out with us on part two. If you're watching in replay and you miss part one, go on back and check the first part of our day starting out in the Magic Kingdom this morning. Looking across the skyline, we can see ourselves the t uh, Tower of Terror over there. Uh, it's three o'clock. We have four hours before Animal Kingdom closes. That gives us just enough time to grab a ride and a photo over in uh, Animal, or not Animal Kingdom, but uh, Hollywood Studios before we jump on a bus and head on over to Animal Kingdom before it so closes. That brings up the question. Question: How many? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck up a woodchuck could chuck with? Answer seven. Always, obviously, going to take a photo in like the main, um, like the Boulevard, right in front of the Chinese Theater. Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. Sunset Do we need Boulevard. to go to uh, Galaxy's Edge and get a zoom shot too? I'm not sure. That was a. <laughs> was we it one? Did. We did that when we first started. No, we did not. I we, just, for, we may need to skip that. But on the other hand, now that you bring that up, fastest ride the would be. Um, well, Millennium Falcon. Falcon. Was yeah. Just for turning. Other Skyliner stations were designed to complement their unique environments. From the glamour of Disney's Hollywood Studios to the laid-back islands of Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. 
If you guys are joining us for the very first time today, we'd love for you guys to be a part of our ever-growing community of theme park fans who hang out with us every Monday through Friday. Take a couple of seconds, hit that subscribe button. Oh, okay, we just stopped. I can hear it slowing down. Maybe it's not slowing down. But it's just, it's just uh, admiring Stitch, that's all. Bye bye Stitch, aloha. All right, let's jump into the chat and see who's jumping in with us in part two today. Mm -hmm. Welcome back in, Data Right. Good to see you again, Amy. Thank you guys for giving us a couple of minutes to have a little bit of a break. We don't normally get to do for our streams. The uh, the guaranteed law uh, every uh, every twelve hours of streams you get a guaranteed four to five minute break so that's just by the labor laws uh, we appreciate that so <laughs> welcome back in Forever Young uh, what's this about twenty five new subscribers is there a new challenge new challenge so in our first part one we put a challenge out the mod said you guys could get to 1100 likes which means you guys have earned uh a giveaway for tomorrow's stream we're gonna go back to the magic kingdom later on tonight and uh, grab a cinderella popcorn bucket and give it away tomorrow picking one of the random uh quotes or quotes but comments left in part one's replay so if you watched part one be sure to go back and leave a comment afterwards uh, and uh, that is how you enter. Every comment is a separate entry. So go back to part one and make sure you leave your entry in there. Um, thank you guys for everybody hitting 1100. It sounds as though our mods are at it again. Love these guys. And uh, we're trying to get 25 new subscribers. Um, does anyone know what number we're shooting for in order to get that for a treat poll? I am at this point 25,000. 63 is what we're looking at right now. So 25, that's 25,088. So we're getting some new subs today. We're going to throw in a cheat poll. Where, and where that throws us in to either Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom, we'll have to see. Welcome in, Barbie! The European Riviera has fascinated and inspired Mike the Bee, how you doing? It may be Christmas in July, but it's National Culinarians Day. I think every day should be National Culinarians Day, myself, uh, Mike. Um, thank you so much, Mike. I know, let's, let's pick up the fork and spoon, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait to check out some of the uh, great treats that they have. Uh, set out for uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. They announced yesterday. Uh, most of them that we saw listed, Mike, are only available during the party. But I can't wait to see what some of the result resorts are going to have for Halloween treats. They do such a great job, and uh, cannot wait to go check them out and share them with everybody as well. Well, happy Culinary National Culinarians Day. Welcome in, Miss Meow Meow. Okay, here comes the next train station. Please remain seated. Remain until seated. The doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, permanezca sentado hasta que las puertas se abran automáticamente. Al salir de la cabina, por favor, cuide sus pequeñitos. All right, guys, we are staying on because we're going to be going over to the Caribbean Beach uh, Hub. Happy Christmas in July! Happy Christmas in July! Yeah, right? <laughs> Happy Christmas in July! So we're going to be making our way over to the Caribbean Beach Hub. And uh, then we're going to take our uh, one little step over to uh, Hollywood Studios. Michelle, Michelle loves riding this, right? Jenna, welcome in. This kind of functions as both a turret station and a station from the premiere. 
you're staying at the Riviera, this is going to be your This base. is the Riviera Station, yeah. Now, you do need to keep in mind, since it's also in the middle between here, um, Caribbean and Epcot, you are, you may have to share a cabin or wait for a cabin to be empty before getting on, since some people coming back before will probably already be on. But, oh, and we're going to have to get off because Mike the Beast making carrot cake for live with uh, cream cheese whipped cream. No, no, we're, so, we're staying on. No, I'm... I'm ditching this stream. We're going to Mike the Bees. We're no. getting carrot cake. <laughs> is it real? Is it real cream cheese, Mike? Because I can't stand it when they make carrot cake and they use like uh, this this cheap frosting and they tell you it's cream cheese. It's not the same. Brittany, uh, I don't know. I, I try. Uh, I, Owen, I would gladly get Owen an ear-to-ear -ear magic shirt. I don't know what I'd have to pay him to make him wear it. I don't know if I can afford it. You guys, you guys are begging me for ear-to-ear -ear magic shirts, and I can't get my own family to wear them. <laughs> Welcome in the part two fun things. Welcome in, Hector. What is that? Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club. If you are just joining us, we are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I know, Amanda. Once you've had the real stuff, nothing else makes any good. Just doesn't do it. Island hopping at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Just flying high over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Look how nice and pretty it is from up here. All right, so you guys are killing me right now. We are now sailing over Disney <laughs> Caribbean Beach Resort. Well, if we can get 25 new subscribers, the mod said that they were asked Susan to put in a treat poll. So if you guys are watching today and this is your first time ever joining us here on Ear to Ear Magic, we would love for you guys to take a second, hit the subscribe button, and join us as we uh, make our way over to Disney's Hollywood Studios and then over to in Disney's just Animal a few Kingdom. Moments, we will be landing at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Welcome back in, Captain Tuttle. Lisa, what are those taller buildings? What you're looking at over there is uh, some of our off Disney property hotels, including uh, the uh, Bonnet Creek Resorts and Timeshares. Welcome There's a Hilton the over there as well. And in the far Resort. distance, Lisa, very far distance, you can see you can see the Gaylord Palms. Thank you. Exactly. We hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on Earth. Well, first stop, we need to take another ride. Please remain seated. Woohoo! Doors automatically open. Hey, got the barbecue refresher over there too, just in case we might get a second one. Oh, the barbecue platter. We were just here last week. Welcome back in, Jeremy Allen. We were just here last week. I'm showing us that platter was great. <laughs> Welcome back in, Maribel. So, Grumpy Dopey, that is my go to favorite dessert of all time. Red velvet. And it's got to have the richest cream cheese frosting or it just doesn't count. Well, thanks for asking, Lisa. Now, if you guys are watching for the first time, my name's Chris. This is my son, Owen. Uh, my wife and I are Travel Mation travel agents. We moved here four and a half years ago so that we could help take care of our travel clients from a very, uh, very close. And we almost got a stitch car again um, from a standpoint. 
And uh, we love it when you guys ask questions because that's what we're all about. We want you guys to feel comfortable and feel free to ask as many questions as you like. You are not in any way taken away from us. Thank you, Gary. Merry Christmas in July, sir. Uh, by the way, Owen likes to always sit in front of Stitch. Yeah, this, this, you, you, you barely got it twice in a row. Mike says, hey, Chris, is a Dave's Hot Chicken opening in our, in our town. I'm still, I want us to have our Bucky's open. They keep talking about opening up a Bucky's closer to Orlando. They say it's going to be huge. I, I, I had a friend online that was talking about Dave's Hot Chicken. I've heard the best place, the best I know, Greg, they're always coming in fast, aren't they? When we first started riding these things, it, it, it was a little unnerving. Especially that first launch, it, it goes. There he goes. Why do we park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? It's a dopey runner. Why is it when you carry something on a ship, it's called a cargo, but when you carry something on the highway, it's called a shipment? I don't know. It's the English language. Is messed up. Why, why is it called cookies and bacon when you bake cookies? Cook bacon. Ladies, gentlemen, and islanders of all ages. If the opposite of pro is con, is the opposite of progress Congress? Caribbean Beach Resort. If your pants aren't tucked in, if your shirt isn't tucked into your pants, is your pants tucked into your shirt? Oh, see, that's that's too far. Good afternoon, Bernadette. Welcome. Como se dice en español? Gondola? 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 You might spot some of the happiest wildlife on Earth. Oh, the trees for here is amazing today. Those, those air fans It's, air fence it's starting wonders. to cool off a little bit now. We had our, uh, our higher uh, temperatures earlier. High of 93 is what we looked at for today. Um, we did have some chance of some rain. There's still some clouds looking kind of ominous off it to may our or west. May not happen. But we, I think that may have dissipated a little bit. Owen should wear one of these shirts. My folks went on a trip to, uh, in, and uh, I use an ear to ear magic, and all they got me is a lousy shirt. <laughs> Welcome back in, OK Vision. Welcome to part two. Good to see you, Alyssa. Woo, that breeze. Can you guys hear that? Man, so it a, feels so good with the wind in my hair. A common question that usually gets asked is, does it get hot in here? There are vents on all sides, well, not all sides, but like three sides of the Skyliner, and as you're moving, air flows through, and acts as like a natural air conditioning. So when it's constantly going through here, even better when we got a breeze that's going through here. That's that you can hear right now. It's, it's nice. Welcome in, yes. Thanks for watching part two. We're coming into Disney's Hollywood Studios. Our third part for today, this is what we have to do, guys. We have to get in. Uh, we have to get our photo in front of the Tower of Terror. Walk the red carpet. And then we're going to make our way. Uh, we have to ride a ride. We have to ride a ride and get our picture. What's our wait times right now, Owen? Do you know? Okay. Look it up and see what we can find out. Let's do some. He's going he's gonna to help us out. He's going to figure out what we're going to ride today. Oh, too bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Any second. Come on, Tower of Terror. Thank you. Tower of Terror. Okay, um, change that. Tower of Terror. Um, highway. And Tower of Terror is uh, two hours. Two, two hours? Yep. We don't have two hours. We don't. That is, that is like half our time. We cannot yes. do that. We have to be at Animal Kingdom in two hours. Yeah, so... Um, I don't see anything else that could work, so single rider. Yeah, I think I think we're going to I think we're going to Slater's run, people. The doors automatically open. That is Florida weather, isn't it? Me and my life. Sunshine, and you're 20 minutes away, and it's pouring down rain. It 
And Millie's like, no, not Tower of Terror. <laughs> not if it's two hours. <laughs> I know, for such a Chanel, like 120 minutes. Misa gonna ride Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Alrighty. So welcome back in, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us in part one, or if this is your first time joining us today. We are so glad that we could spend a few hours just spending some time with our Magic crew, thanking them so much for being uh, such a supportive and wonderful group of people that they've uh, made it possible for us to have a platform. Well, we can simply turn a camera on, go into the parks, and people can come in and be a part of a group and a community place where they feel like they belong they're seen they're heard and they're wanted so if you're watching for the first time we want you guys to come on in and have a great time with us we want you guys to feel comfortable and at home and uh, we're gonna have a great time here in the park so now we do have to go through security which means we are going to follow Disney's rules and no sharing video uh, through this area so for uh, security reasons. So we're gonna put ourselves on a uh, hold screen for a bit. And uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna show you guys what my feet look like. Yeah, don't get jealous. But <laughs> uh, we're gonna put you guys on hold. And uh, as soon as we're back out, uh, we'll be back with you guys. We'll take you into Hollywood Studios. Um, and uh, we're looking at 25,088 Magic Crew members is our goal to hit for uh, the mods are telling me that if we hit that, Susan's gonna put up a snack poll. The earlier you get it, we can get it in Hollywood Studios. Later on, we'll, we'll get it at uh, Animal Kingdom. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys on hold. You guys, be good to Owen. We'll see you guys at the end. Take it through. You got it. Okay, uh, let's back up. Oh, we look. Wow, we are lucky. That's two times in a row we've been able to both get through. Usually you don't have that streak of luck. I know. Good. I mean, if there's any day to have that catch up, now's the day. This is a perfect day. Look who's got over here. It's me. What is he doing now? We just missed it. A character Palooza. We missed him just by a second. There he goes. There goes me, everybody. You never know. You have characters coming out here this time of day. It's about 3.30 to 4 o'clock is when you generally may see it. Bye, Smee. Woohoo. I fell for that hook, line, and sinker. Okay. First. Un photo. Here we go. Hi guys. Merry Christmas in July. How are you? A little hot. Not too bad though. I'm not too bad. It was. Thank you. It's a beautiful day in Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're gonna make our way down Hollywood Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard for a quick photo in front of the Tower of Terror. Woo, good breeze. Man, it's a good breeze. Blowing my Santa hat all over the place. And after we get our photo, we're gonna stop and hydrate a little bit.
Is it windy? Why, yes, it is. How did you know? Huge respect to any of the blue quarters. Major respect on a Wednesday's day. On a Wednesday, but it's Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching the ads again, Pam? By the way, we would never, never ask anyone who's new to our stream to ever feel as though they needed to. You can skip past those ads, come right on in and let's have some fun. But we know that there are people out there who watch our streams on the regular and they make a point to watch the entire ads, all 15 seconds, 20 seconds 30 seconds and it does make a huge difference to our streams it throws a few pennies into the pot and uh, that helps us keep going so we appreciate you guys when you do that lo <laughs> siento it happens. Actually, Casey, can, can you help us out with a Christmas in July photo? So we, we need a couple of photos. We need one maybe in the distance. We're getting a photo at every one of the four parks today. Okay. So I'm not wearing my Christmas onesie like I was in the Magic Kingdom, though. It got hot. It is hot. It got really hot <laughs> this morning. So where can, we, where can we put our stuff safely down? Probably next to me okay. is going to be the safest. Because we've got a few people on YouTube watching with us today. So I'm okay. going to leave you with them. Okay. You guys be nice to Casey. She's out here on the street. This is hot asphalt. So do not be mean. Do not get in her way. She's working hard to take photos of people. Literally right on the side of her face. Kind of, yeah. That's perfect. Are you guys just doing normal photos? Or have you been doing like a specific pose or anything? We've done a, like a specific pose, but anything you can throw in there, Casey, to kind of mix it up a little bit for Christmas. One of the Zoom photos, we just did a bowling meal, was looking off into the distance photos. Most of that when you're like just a Mickey kind of a... Background. That's perfect. Just we'll just stick with that because I don't really know any specific Christmassy poses. What is a Christmas pose? I have no idea. <laughs> So yeah. thank you very much. Have, Have a, a wonderful afternoon. Rest of your thank you very much. Happy Christmas in July. That was Casey. All right, let's do one more, just a little closer. And if you guys are watching and you're new and you're like, you know what, I don't know about this guy. He's a little weird. I mean, this kid seems okay, but I don't know about him. I will say, ignore me and just give the people in the live chat a chance. Uh, they're a lot of fun to chat with, guys. We getting some win through here too, Gabriel. You know, Jenna, they are out here in the hot sun just as much as we are. They are working hard and unfortunately not every guest is as kind as they can be so it's up to us to try to balance it out we got one more here i want to get one right up close this is the other one i want to get right up on it isn't it nice 
Oh, Pam. Woo. Merry Christmas in July. How are you? Oh my gosh, we're halfway. We're oh, five months. Five months. I know it's crazy. Uh, we're celebrating by uh, getting some uh, Christmas pictures today. Can you help us out with a couple? Yes. So um, we're uh, we're also celebrating 25,000 uh, YouTube members oh my gosh. as of yesterday. So we thought July 25th, 25, we're gonna do the whole thing. So 25, 25, 25. that's awesome. Now, Alex, are you from Orlando? No, I'm not. This is a lone name tag. <laughs> The 50th name he's not even Alex. No. Oh, his yeah. name is Alejandro. <laughs> he's uh, he's he's Puerto Rican. Is muy guapo. No, uh, no, but you are you 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 are Alex. Yeah, I'm from Seattle. From Seattle. Ooh. Wow. So it's it's uh right it's it's I, I spend a lot of time working in Seattle. It's really nice. It's, it's nice this time of year. Like it is. And you know what? Actually, rains more. We're from Atlanta originally. You know, it rains more in Atlanta than it does in Seattle most summers. That, but it has to do with. It's just so gray in Seattle. That's the problem. It's really gray. So since we got beautiful skies, we're gonna get some cool Christmas shots, right? All right, Alex. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be in your hands. I'm gonna put everybody down here. And uh, Alex is from Seattle. We have a few people from Seattle in our chat today. Um, all right. We'll have some awesome photos from Alex from Orlando, a.k.a. Seattle. Yeah, they did a really good job. I love it when the... Uh, I Here's the thing, guys, and this is a little tip and trick if you've never done this. Um, if you are open to it, if you would like to, give your photo pass photographer carte blanche. You know what that means? Oh, I didn't hear it. Right? You should give your photo pass photographer uh, with Disney carte blanche. It's white paper. Oh, yeah. In other words, just let them do whatever they want to do. Tell them up front that you're okay with them. Because here's the thing when you pay for your memory maker, and if you guys can contact us to help you book your vacation. We'll always put a memory maker quote on your vacation quote. It's not because we're trying to slip anything in, but because we want you guys to take advantage of those memory makers. Uh, and also because it's cheaper if you buy it before you get arrive here. It's $30 cheaper than if you wait till you get here. And uh, if you get a memory maker and you show up for five days and you go to download all your photos, you're going to find out you're going to have the same pose in about 42 pictures. And you're like, we're the same in every single photo. How did that happen? Uh, instinctively, with subconsciously, you're just gonna like melt into that same pose and you're gonna realize, well, they all look kind of the same. So fun to go to your photographer and say, you know what, have fun. Just go crazy, what can we do? What, what would you recommend? And sometimes you're gonna have one of them go, really, anything? And they're like, yeah, and they're like, well, come on over here, let me try this. All right, you put your left ear up, put your right foot down. 
you turn around and look at the stun, you squat down and not like you're, you know, a frog. And, you know, you like, this is the weirdest thing ever. And then you get the coolest photos sometimes that are so not the normal, boring, everybody looks the same in every single one of my photos. So give them carte blanche and let them know you're okay with it. All right, we need to ride a ride so we can head on out to, to park number four. Owen says our best bet is gonna be. Because everything is too high to do it. It's high, high standby. So we're gonna be hitting single rider line. Minimum 30 across the board. So like, single rider is best bet. If you guys are ninja watching today, thank you so much for taking the time to do so. We hope you get a break sometime in your work day. You can say hello in the chat. We want to give you a hello, hello too. Chip and Dale are out on the lawn today. Having a picnic. By the way, I have something special, very, very special for Chip and Dale next time we do a Hollywood studio day. I hope that means that they're not uh, discontinuing uh, rescue rangers. Heather says we need to refresh, so we'll do that. Let me give you a quick refresh, guys. We'll be right back. And if you guys haven't done so already, we've got a great lineup for the rest of this week. We'd love for you guys to join us. Uh, find these streams. If you have any questions about them, ask the mods. And uh, I will be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, Owen, let us stand off to the side real quick and uh, let's do our, a refresh hydration as well. Here, here's an Epcot table. This is perfect. Welcome in, B Disney. Good to see you. Oh, Jenny, I moving. Is there anybody who likes to pack for moving? Owen doesn't. Owen has learned. Owen has learned. If I say the word moving, he uh, he he shuts down. Drink. Drink some water. Yeah, I'm completely out. We'll get you a new, we'll get you a new, uh, we'll get you a new one for tomorrow. Yep, all of the activities for uh, 
Epcot Food & Wine is included in your admission cost for the parks. And that includes the concerts as well, guys. JC, we have, uh, we've, uh, we've done a pretty good job of keeping hydrated, using our circles. The circle has a cartridge that puts a little bit of flavoring. Unfortunately, Owens has run out. We'll have to make sure to change out his cartridge before tomorrow's stream. For me, I'm just a big baby when it comes to water. I can't, I just don't like to drink regular water. I like a little flavor in it. And I can fill that water bottle up about eight times. It throws a little bit of citrus orange flavor into it. It makes it a lot easier for me to just chug down large amounts of water. So one of the things that we use when you guys uh, donate to the channel, it does add to our circle water cartridges so that we can make sure we uh, stay hydrated. Uh, anybody who likes to pack and move, I mean, I can be excited about moving to a new location, but the actual physical packing, uh, unless you pay somebody else to move it all, it's rough, Bailey. Whoop. Welcome in, Helen. Glad to have you join us today. Another refresh? All right, we can refresh again. Welcome to Galaxy's Edge, everybody. Bright suns. Really bright suns. Owen comes because he really enjoys it. Yeah, I, I always, help. So he I does, just, he does want to help. He does the help. Days, the days I join, I turn this to do as good as, and I feel like I would provide something. We always give him the option. I never force him to come with me. So you can pretty much guarantee if Owen is here, it's because he wants to be. Are we good now? Okay. Sweet. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go uh, smuggle some cargo. Smugglers run. Millennium Falcon. Millennium's run. Now I'm just like babbling, I guess, at this point. <laughs> what's our uh, what's our weight right now for uh, Rise of Resistance? Is that 65? Yeah, uh, nope. <laughs> it's not 65. Yeah. It looked like 65 to no, me. No, it was 65. I'm just saying no at the time. Like, oh, oh no, not today. But that is, it's still not a bad time, though. Oh, you are correct. Like if there was a normal day, we had like a Rise time. of Resistance. Uh, I say, I say, I'd be up to waiting. I'm much better than 120. But, uh, yeah, on a day when we have to be fast and quick and swift. I was, I was making sure that we're staying on time because we've got to get to Animal Kingdom by, no later, we're trying to get there by 6. Because it does, the park does close at 7. Oh, uh, it's already 4. No. And if you guys are part of our Magic Crew cast, our YouTube membership program, then we have two emojis for you guys to use today. Exclusive emojis just for the Magic Crew cast. Christmas in July. July 25th with Jack Skellington and uh, Got a little uh, 
Christmas hat on a Chris emoji that Angie did an amazing job on creating for me. Man's on a mission, Jill. He is on a mission. Heading straight to the Millennium Falcon today. Well, that works out pretty well. One of you packs, one of you unpacks. Everybody's happy. Or else one of you unpacks, one of you packs, and both of you are miserable. I guess it kind of depends on how you do it. All right, so we are going to ride an attraction in every park. And though it's a two hour wait, what have you done to us, Owen? What have you done? Two hour wait right now. Let's see if we can hit the single rider. Single rider? Thank you very much. Is it long? Oh, no. Okay. All right, when we do a single rider line, we sing the single rider song. It sounds a little bit like this. All the single riders, 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 all the single riders. The single riders. You put your hands up. Woo! Hopefully it's not too long of a line. Choose which way you go. Most everybody just keeps going straight. We like to turn and do a U turn. Most always do a U turn. This will always work in your favor. Single rider! Wow, this is the two hour wait, guys. Two, two hour wait. Two hours. Me so no, no, like the two hour wait. Oh, this feels good. Oh, right here. This is a good spot, Owen. This is an excellent spot. We are 21, 21 new Magic Crew members away from eating the goal. 21, less than two dozen. All single riders, all the single riders, all single riders, all the single riders, all the single riders, all the single riders. Get your hands up. Woo, woo, woo. That is crazy. Two single riders, all right. And Engineers, ready to go. We're boarding for duty. Both engineers, pretty, pretty lucky there, Emily.
We are live on YouTube. Yep. We're gonna do good. We'll pitch it if you do. They break it, we fix it. I mean, I'm sure you'll be okay. Oh, we're good. I mean, our our last crew did okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Doctor said they should be out in a couple months. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Very, very helpful. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. We can fix a lot of things, but legs? No, we're not good at that. Going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. What's that? Sure. Yeah, thank you. Just <laughs> kidding. Nothing to be afraid of. Just kidding. You will be intercepting a first order trade shipment of Coaxia. Gunners. You clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you are full that precious cargo. All right, into the cockpit. I hope you are ready, my friends. But to be sure, I will be coming along. I'm not. Mm -hmm. yeah, not ready. All right, let's do it. Let's get both of them. We can get both containers. Remain seated and supervise young ladies. Por favor, permanezcan sentados y cuide a los niños. We're gonna go. That red button, just hold it down. So you see this red button right there? Here we go. Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. Hey, we got out okay. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly out and push forward to fly out. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 my friend. 
that could have been much worse. No. Okay. It's much worse. Ah! of coaxium and with the, the ship is not that badly damaged oh man that was a good ship that we did a pirate dude we grabbed that second container like immediately so that worked out oh, pardon, that's pretty well oh, sorry. thank you Okay. All right, so that was a two hour wait for that ride. How was a really short two hours? So, if you guys are watching for the first time and you're like, how in the world did they just get on a ride that has a two hour wait that fast? If you're willing to be separated from the people you're riding with and possibly get put on a ship by yourself, there you go. No, it, yeah, please don't split up if you're with your grandmother. Do not make your poor grandmother ride with a family of five who uh, does not know what test track is and then spends the entire time talking to my wife and asking questions about what's going to happen when she gets on the ride. Uh, Terrifies poor grandma. poor grandma. But otherwise, we also don't recommend that you get in a single rider line if you're with a large group. If you're with a school group of 40 to 50 people, single rider doesn't necessarily work either so okay so should we head back to the front let's head right on out let's uh we got our ride we got our photo we're time we still about have it's only 4 11 right now so so 
We still have about three hours to finish off that last. We can do it. Which is good. Sometimes grandma needs to socialize. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes sometimes grandma wants to ride with other people than her family. I get that. I can, I can Just name at least multiple different ways for grandma to socialize that'll require her putting on a high speed ride. When you guys are following the resistance. Sometimes you just go looking for trouble. Sometimes trouble comes looking for you. I love it. So how many people have no idea that they had rebels like walking right behind them or in front now, of this them. Is, this is one of the only areas of the park where uh, characters are walking around freely. Not only are characters just walking freely, but they may not announce themselves they and don't. they may not even be picked up. They can just kind of fit in with everybody else. And, and, and as far as anyone is concerned, they're just here to get some popcorn and play <laughs> choice. <laughs> But who says Ray doesn't enjoy like smokers Get this to your mouse ears and beers. Yeah, we were just following that? behind Ray and Vi. And uh, now if it was the Mandalorian, talking about being swamped, but they just kind of like, they know how to blend in. Welcome in, Courtney. Thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button. We hope you're having a great afternoon. Thank you for celebrating with us today. We're having a little bit of fun of Christmas in July. And uh, you helped us with our goal today too, Courtney. We have put a challenge in today's stream. The mods have told me that the challenge they put forth is that if we can have 25 new Magic Crew members, new subscribers to our channel while we're doing our stream today, that my wife Susan is gonna put a poll up into the chat and let you guys choose a snack for us to try over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, which is the park we're heading to next. So you've helped us get there closer, a little bit closer, Courtney. Thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button. Hope you had a great day at work today, Andrew. Hope uh, watching our stream helped your work go by a little faster. We have a lot of people who come and watch our streams. We stream in the parks here at Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando Resort every single weekday, guys. Consistently, every Monday through Friday. So if you're in a position where you can watch streams and hang out while you're at work, we hope it helps out. Boy, I feel like I'm still flying the Falcon. <laughs> Sam, everybody counts in this. Thank you for subscribing this morning. Right now, I think uh, the number that the mods put in was 25, and when we recorded it uh, for the challenge, we need to get to 24,088. Um, I haven't looked at it recently. 
Let's see what we're at here at the moment. We are 20 away. So we're at 20,000, uh, 25,068. So we are just 20 away. We've hit five out of 20. Thank you guys for the five who've already subscribed. <laughs> Gabe was like, I seriously need some soft serve from somewhere. Now you guys had a, uh, a Bugs Life cupcake last week, right, Gabriel? I thought when you were talking about a Bugs Life that you had the same brookie, brownie cookie that uh, we had a chance to try. But no, you guys had something completely different. So if we make it for the poll, we're going to have a treat over at Animal Kingdom. I'm going to have to kind of see what Susan can find. I bet she can find something really cool for us to try out. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Well, I hope he enjoys watching along with us. So if you guys were watching part one during the break, we took a couple minutes. I actually uploaded our picture onto Instagram and Facebook, our first pictures from this morning, and onto threads too. So if you guys follow us over on threads. When the balloons are at a 90 degree angle, it's windy. Oh my goodness, and thank you, Andrew, for the super chat. Five pound super chat. Thank you so much, Andrew. We appreciate you being a part of our stream, both part one and part two. Says, can you imagine if I'd won that onesie? I would not have made it to part two. I, uh, I would have probably made it halfway through a part one. Uh, I would have passed out. Owen would have had to drag me to one of the places that has a refill station and just continually pour water By into your me. I hold your mouth open. And just, yes, yeah, just pour it down in. So. And what can I say except thank you for the super chat. We appreciate that. Thank you, Andrew. I knew that the character Palooza was going to continue, Owen. We've got our penguins from Mary Poppins out today. Why, it's a, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. Oh, my. Should we uh, see if we can get some pictures with our penguins? Penguin pictures. You're gonna take you're gonna take the photos for me, bud. Hand me, hand me the. I'll let you have that. I'll take this and I'll get a selfie with the penguins. <laughs> the, the what? The penguins. Okay. The penguins. The penguins. Not the penguins. The penguins. The penguins. The penguins. And not only do we have the penguins over here, oh, we have a lot of characters. We got Geppetto over there. Yeah, we have Geppetto. We got Foul Feather, Foul Fellow, and I never remember the other guy's name. Let's avoid that. Me neither. Uh, 
I'm so glad that the Penguins get to be in the shade. Penguins should not be in the fire. I mean, they're out of their element. I mean, this is for I think this is the sack opposite <laughs> of a cold place. How are you? How are you? It's, it's Christmas in July. July 25th. That's why I had to come over. It's holiday, here, I can take this one. Thank you for the kiss. Hello. Thank you for the kiss as well. Well, he's telling you guys, can you guys teach me a penguin dance real quick? How do I do a penguin dance? All right, let me do this. Oh, oh my. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. <laughs> You guys are good. You guys are like way up here. Thank you guys for uh, letting me share my little bit of dance as well. Hey, can you teach me a dance? Go full on tap dancing. Thank you, Amy. Stay cool out there. We'll see you guys soon. Oh my goodness. That, I don't think I could dance as good as those penguins. That was that was oh so hilarious. Goodness. You asked for a little penguin. I asked dance. for a they, a full they were doing like range. a kickball change turn. Oh, I can't they keep up with that. It's Christmas in July. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, we can sell a holiday any day of the year if you try hard enough, yeah, right? There you go. So. Uh, how are you doing today, fine fellow? You're doing well today. Any, uh, uh, any, uh, any things for Christmas in July? Um, hopefully, uh, you guys are staying cool. We're doing our best. You know, we're doing our best. We've got a dress rehearsal to get to here. In about I was about to say, you guys got some stuff going on this evening. I bet. So, what well, was a pleasure to see you, and thank you for uh, letting us say hello to you today. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Thank you, guys. Oh, we got Tigger over here too. Oh, and look, there's Tigger. And? Oh, yeah. Geppetto! And Smee! Oh my gosh, it's Smee! Now, we're celebrating Christmas in July. Oh my gosh. And, and 25,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Congratulations, So yeah, we're awesome. celebrating 25 sub, uh, subscribers on Twitter. Oh and gosh. we're celebrating Allison's earning her ears. Oh, yeah. Allison, where are you visiting from? Well, I'm from New Jersey. So I'm from Jersey, and uh, what are you, are you on in the uh, the Disney College program? And what college are you representing? Town University. Now, are you loving the program so far? Oh, absolutely, my job is so amazing. It's uh, well, uh, stay cool. Um, it's a lot hotter down here. Well, I don't know. Jersey can get pretty hot during can. the summer. It can get pretty warm in Jersey. So just that the humidity is what you got to watch out for. Yeah. The magic gets uh, isn't this great? I mean, where else can you come out and hang out with such fine, upstanding gentlemen exactly. like pirates and foul fellow? Okay, maybe not all of them. But who had it, foul fellow? Actually, he did it. He actually <laughs> didn't have it. We looked there first, but he didn't have it. Was it cane. a candy cane? Because you know it is Christmas in July. You know, earlier I think I did see foul fellow walking around with a candy cane. Right. That would have worked too. Those two guys, you never know what's going on. Well, I know, really. So, oh, we keep them on their best behavior so Allison, Madeline, thank you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of uh, the Disney magic. And uh, Merry Christmas in July. We'll see you guys in five months. Well, maybe even sooner than that. So <laughs> thank you guys. Stay cool. We love our DCPs, our Disney College programs. Well, guys, we have got to get to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We've got a fourth park to get to. 
I thought that was kind of cool. We get to have a little character palooza. Uh, the penguins are so cool. Those are characters that are going to be in tonight's Fantasmic show, and they come out to sort of warm up and get ready for tonight's show. And so I'm glad to see the character Palooza is coming back. It used to be a regular thing. Every day about uh, 4 o'clock or so, characters would come out from the Fantasmic show and just say hello to everybody. You got to watch out for Gideon. Gideon and Foulfellow, they are, um, they are uh, ones to keep an eye on. Honest John. <laughs> All right, so we you took the Skyliner here, but the only way for us to get to Animal Kingdom is going to be by bus. So we are headed to the buses, guys. We are doing the gambit today. We've got a ferry this morning, a ferry boat this morning monorail this afternoon the skyliner and now the disney buses yeah, i'm taking almost every um like other than the friendship boats we've taken basically every good transportation there is oh uh, melanie says me hugged on my great grandmother when i was a kid and she was so embarrassed smee's very loving i think smee is really held back by hook I think Smee is capable of a really uh, uh, open, honest, and caring relationship. But the only person he has is Hook. So, I mean, I think he's held back. Thank you, Ball Josh. Hey, we're going to see you tomorrow. We're going to be over at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge to do a walking tour. Owen's going to join me tomorrow because he loves the resort tours. We're going to show you guys Jumbo House, Kanati Village, and uh, grab a few bites to eat, see some animals, and maybe even some of the rooms. So hopefully we'll get to see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. Welcome in Walt Disney World Explore and Chill. It was a pleasure meeting you the other day over at Disney's Fort Wilderness. That was really cool. Animal Kingdom, number 34. We've had really good luck today with the transportation. Are we going to look up again? Cindy's like, uh, I'm pushing for another single rider. You guys want to go do an Expedition Everest? Who wants to go see the Yeti in the afternoon? How are we looking, Owen? Our bus isn't over there, is it? You go, boy. You get it. 34. There's 31. 32, 33, and there is no bus in 34, so we didn't miss it, at least not immediately. That's not 34, is it? No, 34 is right there. We're all good. No running, no hurry. We're all good. What a day, and I think we're going to do it again all tomorrow. And on Thursday is going to be the first day of food and wine. What a busy week this is going to be. So, yep, today we're going to finish out our 25K Christmas in July celebration by hitting all four parks. Tomorrow we're going to be at Animal Kingdom Lodge for a full walking tour. If you've never been to Animal Kingdom Lodge, we're gonna show you guys as much of it as we can and tell you all about it. 
Here's our bus, dude. Look at this. This has been <laughs> all day, all day long. All right, uh, tomorrow's gonna be Animal Kingdom Lodge Thursday, first day of Epcot International Good Food and Wine day. Festival. And then Friday, we're gonna take it easy. Friday, we're gonna sit back and have a very relaxed kickback day in the Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. So come and join us uh, on our rest of our streams this week, guys. Christina says, will you do Kali River Rapids? We could, except for the problem is, is if we do it and the camera gets wet. Uh, we're, kind of, uh, we're kind of at the end of the stream, but. Mm, hello, Frankie. I like this equipment you got. It keeps us busy. <laughs> All right. All right, Owen, I want to sit on this side. Woo. Welcome back in, Poison Apple. Something, I wiped something on my screen and now it's becoming problematic. All right, so Amanda, how long have you been working on that Mickey ice cream bar? Because if it was here, you'd have about 17 seconds to eat it before it melted. <laughs> what a great way to work. Roxanne wants to know how far are we away from our dessert challenge. Let's take a quick look and see. We are... I think 17 away. Yep, 17. Lucky number 17. We need 17 new subscribers here, new ads, Magic Crew members. Oh, Emacs, are you guys okay? You, you, you can't be endangering your trip in September. We want you to still make it. We've been working on this for a while. Are you hearing this or is it just me? Am I hallucinating? Uh, we're gonna get copyright from the bus for Star Trek. <laughs> this is Voyager. Is this not Voyager? Star Trek Voyager? Or is this Next Generation? Are there any Trekkies? Any Trekkies in the chat today? Are you guys live? Yeah, we're we're live on YouTube at the moment. Oh, okay. You guys ever watch live streams? Live streams? Yeah. So, so, no. no. We've gone from Star Trek to Superman. Okay. How is it about a Disney bus? <laughs> it's Hollywood. It's Hollywood oh, Studios. Okay. You know, okay. I remember the first time we were on this bus since Harry Potter started playing. I'm like, that's going to really confuse people. Where are you guys visiting from? California. California. Oh, where are you? You're at? on the other side of the pond. Other side, what pond? I mean, other side of the <laughs> sand <That's> mass. <laughs> what part of uh, California? Uh, San Diego. Oh, okay. Southern. 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 Uh, it was right there above uh, Burbank where I worked, and uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain was just down the road. And uh, of course, Disneyland, Disneyland was just down the way. 
So uh, we actually moved here. Uh, yeah, we, I moved here last week. We moved here last week. week. Awesome. Wow. Uh, we moved here four and a half years ago okay. from the Atlanta area. Okay. So just the new, just this. I retired from the Air Force and I moved here. Oh well, thank wow. you for your service. Thank you, for your service. you deserve to live near theme parks. Okay. Well, my, so. aunt, my aunt just retired from Disney, so uh, she gave us her passes. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah. She gets uh, daily passes. That is amazing. Uh, so uh, my son and I, we uh, uh, we live stream on our YouTube channel every weekday. Um, this is uh, for about three years. We've been doing uh, every weekday live stream. So we go to each of the four parks. We go to Universal. Uh, but today uh, we're celebrating 25,000 subscribers. So um, we, uh, we're hitting all four parks in one day. So just cranking it out today. Uh, this three, is three. Right. This we're heading to number four now. What's so. up? Seven. So we have about three. Yeah, hours. Animal Kingdom closes at seven today. Okay, what about Epcot? Epcot, I think, is open till nine. Oh, yeah. Magic Kingdom's, oh, Kingdom's open till eleven, so keep parking. Yeah. Yeah. How many subscribers? Twenty-five thousand. And what's the number? Yeah. Twenty-five thousand. Uh, it's called Ear to Ear, Ear, to Ear Magic. Well, come on in. This is you guys going to your fourth park? Sweet. So, are, uh, are you guys? Uh, do you guys have something you're doing when you go to each park? How you doing? Hi. So, what are you guys going to ride when you get to Animal Kingdom? Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna of course do Expedition Everest. We're gonna see the Yeti. See, now she can jump in the single rider line and ride immediately, and then you can jump right back off. She's special needs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we're glad you guys are doing four parks today as well. She also does, she gets a lot of her classes to that park. Uh-huh. Awesome. That's that sweet. Well, I hope you guys are staying cool today because it's a hot day yeah, out today. I keep, I keep her to, to Drink her some water, day. get right. something nice so, um, to cool in, get stay in the air conditioning. This uh, Animal Kingdom will be our last park for today. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in your pass over? We are. Don't forget to get your magnets. So, you know what? Well, I already got the magnets when they came out the first time. Okay. So, I'm questioning is whether or not they'll let her get us the second one. I don't know if you got all of his. I, I don't think I've got the magnets. I was about to say, well, let's go get your magnets and make sure. 25,000, yes. Just so we're actually we put a uh, we put a poll, we're putting up a challenge up. My wife will throw in a treat poll for everyone to vote on a treat for us to try at Animal Kingdom. If we hit 25 more subscribers while we're on today's stream at this part, and uh, we're 17 away. So if you if you guys ear ear to ear magic. Oh, we're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and uh, TikTok. Uh, all of them ear to ear magic. Well, you guys have fun. Yeah. We'll Take it easy. And thank you very much. And if you ever want to come in, like at this, we do this every weekday. So if you ever want to come in and just ride rides, if you're doing something else and want to put it on, uh, we have a lot of people who watch it while they work or while they do clean house or do dishes and stuff like that. Uh, that's what I like to do when I'm doing dishes. So. And so, uh, nice to meet you guys. You so, one more time, say hi, everybody. Hello. Now, are uh, you guys? Now, try magic, ear to ear magic. Magic. Oh, there's a there's another company called Ear to Ear. <laughs> Throw in that little bit of act, uh, extra magic in there. Uh, we started our company. We started our company about seven years ago. That, that's me. If you got the blue shirt, you're in the right spot. That's it. That's it. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. This is what you do every day. This is every day, every Monday, Friday. This is what I do full time. My wife and I are also travel agents. So um, one of the reasons we like to do this is because we have clients who come into the parks, and they like to watch our streams, so they can kind of see how to navigate and how to ride big things. So. Thank you, Andrew, for being a Magic Crew cast. Welcome in.
So uh, we started we started Ear to Ear Magic seven years ago. Uh, I was in telecom. I worked in telecom. I helped build AT and T, uh, Verizon networks, Samsung networks. Um, did it for 20 years. Um, you hit 40 years old and you get tired of doing the same thing for somebody else. And so uh, I just decided that um, I wanted to do something for myself. So my wife and I uh, became travel agents. We started doing this as uh, even before the term creator came around. So um, and now we just uh, we have fun with a group of people that we hang out with. And when they want a vacation, uh, they can call us up. We book their vacation. We don't charge them any fees because if you if a, if a travel agent charges you, they shouldn't charge you anything. So, so it's a great thing. We get to hang out with the, the people that we uh, we have in our community, and we help them with their vacations, and they help us with our small business, and it just works out really well. So, would you guys like to say hi? I, I never want to put the camera on people if they don't want to feel comfortable because yeah. not everybody likes to be on YouTube. Uh, our friend over here just retired from the uh, Air Force, right? So 22 wow. years. That's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, we have uh, we have a couple of mods who are uh, who are retired from the uh, from the services as well. And uh, I tell you what, if they if I figure if they can um, if they can handle the services, they can handle the parks because sometimes it feels like a war zone out there. <laughs> And uh, uh, now, are you going back? Are you going back to California? Now, um, is it? Uh, it's hot here, but it's humid here. I remember living in, and working in California. It was hot, but it wasn't nearly as humid. So I remember being in um, San Bernardino one day, 112 degrees. I didn't know it was 112 degrees. I knew it was hot, but if it was 112 degrees here, we'd all be dead. It's a completely different environment. So, um, how are you, how are you loving the heat out here? It's very good. So I don't mind it really. I was gonna say you're you're still used to it. You're still yeah. accustomed I mean, to it for the most I'm part. Hot, so. uh, now, what are you going to school for? Uh, aviation. Aviation. I know a guy. I know a guy who just retired just from the Air Force. <laughs> So, any, uh, any, is there any uh, inspiration for wanting to go into aviation? Uh, I don't think I could ever fly, but um, three years ago, yeah, I was about to say, I get up high and I'm like a little nervous. Three years ago, I had a buddy of mine uh, take me up in his plane and he flew us over all of the area here in the parks. Beautiful. It's amazing to be up there. Um, I don't know if I trust myself to be up there flying, but I, I definitely do appreciate it. So, um, but uh, it was it was a pretty awesome just to kind of see things from that experience. So, well, uh, you guys have any plans for Animal Kingdom? Do you want to go find a passage? Have you ever ridden it before? Have you ever been on it before? It's, it's, I was going to say, you're already in aviation, but see, I'm scared of heights. That first second off of that ride, exhilarating, really fun. So I'm assuming you've ridden it before. It is one of the best rides. Do you think we'll have time to make it to Epcot? Epcot will be open later, so yes, I think you can make it. You I mean, guys can do it. How long flight pass is that? That's like the ride that tends to break up the higher class. Welcome in, D. Good to see you. We're pulling in. Now, tomorrow, guys, we're going to be going straight ahead because right over there is Animal Kingdom Lodge. We'll be taking you guys over to Kidani Village and, and Jumbo House and uh, checking out some of the animals on the savannah. So, How many hours? Like, today or just... I mean, we started at... Let's see. Nine, we're, uh, right? we're just at about seven and a half right now. Yeah. So we generally do about six per day, not to overdo it. Uh, so we do about 30 hours of on-time stream uh, throughout the weekday. So.
Welcome back in, Wall. Good to see you guys. So, yes, this morning, FM Ever After came in and gifted 20 Magic Crew cast memberships. So, um, I don't know if someone else may have gifted some additional. But if you find your name suddenly in green, you've been gifted a, a month of uh, access to our Magic Crew cast. So, make sure you use the special emojis. And uh, you look good in green today, Greg. Have you ever That's awesome, nice FM Ever After. We won't ruin that for him just yet. Please collect your belongings. Watch your head and stand if you're disappointed. Take small children by the hand and follow the walkway to the main entrance. Welcome in and thank you for joining Kayla. We appreciate your support. Thank you for hitting that join button. Have a wild time here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Well, it was a pleasure to talk to you, gentlemen. Have fun on Flight of Passage. And um, thank you very much. Thank you. It's not the numbers, it's the people. We really do have a great group of people that just hang out. And uh, it's uh, when we started, um, it was uh, it was strange to have a few people in and just to chat, but as we've gotten bigger, we still seem to be very small, and I love that. It's just like hanging out with friends and stuff like that. So we have people watching from the Netherlands, Germany, UK, uh, yeah, Argentina, and uh, it's a uh, it's a small world after all. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You have a good day. out the front with Frankie over here. Thank you very much, sir. Frankie, have a good afternoon. Well, if you ever do, come on over, say hello. We'd love to see you guys again. Have fun. Two hours to get ourselves a photo in front of the Tree of Life and to get ourselves a, an attraction under our belt. We'll be good to go. That's right, Daniel. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so it's very important that we have a community that is welcoming that is open that is ready to talk to and say hello to anybody who wants to come in we are always glad to have you guys who want to come in and just check out what we do we do it on a regular, and we want you guys to know that um, it's very important that you feel at home, that you feel that this is a place you can come to and just kind of exist and uh, have fun. I also want to make sure that when we come out, we have uh, guests like the, the, the two uh, groups we just talked to, extremely kind, extremely nice. Um, and sometimes when we chat, I know it pulls me out of our chat. Um, and I hope you guys know it's not me demanding you at all. Um, but uh, I always love meeting people in the parks. And honestly, there are several people in the chat right now in our community. Uh, the, the first time I met them was in the parks. And now they have been a member of our Magic Crew for a very long time and are extremely dear friends and parts of our family. Uh, so never miss the opportunity to say hello to someone and give them a kind word and uh, I tell you guys every day share a laugh share a smile share a compliment and you know what if I can't Demonstrate that when I meet anyone in the parks that I'm just giving you fluff at the end of every stream You can ignore me. We want you guys to know it's very important for us to know that everybody 
you come in and be a part of our family. We appreciate that. So hang on, we're gonna flip this back around one more time. Away from security. We are coming up one last security for today. As always, we are going to be uh, putting ourselves on hold for just a moment. So we're gonna turn off our screen so that we're not recording. And we'll be back with you guys as soon as we get through. I don't think I'm gonna be as lucky this time, Owen. Okay, hashtag Patrick, come on, hashtag. That would be pretty cool. We've had such luck getting through everything today. So, all right, we're putting you guys on hold. Hang on just one moment. Give me the magic for your rod. There you go. I'm gonna turn this down so yep, nobody yep, thinks you're yep, yep, being yep, suspicious. Yep. There you go. Don't be suspicious. He thought he thought the anchor was sus. <laughs> it is sus. I mean, I don't That's blame him. That's a sus him. anchor. That's I don't five, blame him. That is if I five, saw that hanging from a gimbal, that is I would. a five-pound brick I carry with me everywhere I go. It's suspicious. It's very suspicious. <laughs> so if you're just jumping into today's live stream, guys, welcome in. This is our fourth and final park for today. We have now reached every single park gate. We're about to enter in our fourth. Today we are celebrating an amazing group of 25,000 Magic Crew members here today. Earlier in the chat when we started part two, the mods put a a, a challenge up to you guys if we can reach and increase by another 25 subscribers from when they started the challenge susan was going to put in a treat poll for animal kingdom and we are getting close i think so if you're watching today and you're having a great time we'd love for you guys to hit that subscribe button how close are we Oh, did we lose? Oh, no. Are we done? No, it's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. How are you? Thank you. Green number four. So hang on one moment, guys. I have got to hit another battery situation. Oh, and dance for us. He can keep it up all day, folks. <laughs> How long do we have to do this for? Uh, 10, 10 minutes? No. I'm not crazy. Oh boy. All right, you're good. You're making my brain hurt. All right, let's check. Oh, by the way, I uh, just checked um, on that challenge. We right. have 14 more subs needed. 40? 14. 14. Oh, thank you. And then we'll get um, a, a picture. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so the other battery I was using is DEET. Uh oh. And so the item it was charging is DEET. So I don't even know if this one is even working anymore. It is. Hurrah. That, that anchor is not going to last long. This is going to be it. We're going to 
We're going after Rush, she's the last two and then uh, Oh, we're good. We're gonna make it happen. We go. Just be hanging. Yeah, Fire Boy is just hanging. Owen says we need 14. Baker's dozen and a, and a one. Baker's dozen plus one for a challenge. It's Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hey guys, I wanted, I, I shared some things this morning on our part one, and I feel like I need to share some of these again for those who might not have been able to join us. One of the greatest things we got from being here at Disney's Animal Kingdom was we have a phrase that we use all the time, and it's called, don't be a zebra. Why do we say don't be a zebra? Well, back in February of 2022, we were here at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, and we had a most momentous ride on uh, the Kilimanjaro safaris. I believe our guide was by the name of Tom. Uh, and Tom told a story that I had never, ever heard on the safari as many times as I've ridden it. And uh, it changed this forever. It really did. So if it was Tom, Tom, thank you so much for making such an amazing impact on our community for giving us something we never knew we needed, but we're so glad that we have the phrase, don't be a zebra. Hello, watch out for zebras. Zebras will befriend wildebeest, hanging out with them all the time, eating with them, drinking with them, playing with them, really becoming best friends. Sounds cute, right? Well, things change when a predator comes along. That zebra will kick the wildebeest in the head to stun it. Oh my God. Get away. Oh. <laughs> On that <laughs> <laughs> well, the story, zebras don't make great friends. <laughs> I never see zebras. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> There'll be a couple different animals coming up on the right. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Small white and brown animals that look like little spores are springbok. They can jump six feet up and 13 feet forward, which is approximately two hops in my truck. One of the Thank you, sir. That was awesome. We enjoyed it. I can't wait to see uh, talk about zebras from now on. That was just amazing. I made my day. <laughs> Lisa, if, you, if anyone else you just joined us for the back end of the safari, I tried so hard not to laugh. It helped that I was in the back row. I just turned around and just stifled myself. But I've never heard that story about, you think it's funny that, you know, you see the giraffe, not the giraffe, but the zebras and the uh, antelope hang out together and you think they're friends and you think that's cute. But in reality, first time a predator shows up, the zebra will kick the antelope in the head so that it will stun them so that they can get away and the antelope can get eaten first. <laughs> I have never heard that. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, um, how many of you guys have zebras in your life? You know, I used to have a very fond respect for zebras, but at this point, um, I don't know. That's crazy. There you go, folks. That is the story, the origin of why we use the phrase, don't be a zebra. And it all happened here live on stream. Oh my gosh. Ooh, to Angela, thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button. Welcome into the Magic Crew. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh, Cinder. I, <laughs> that entire ride. I was not prepared for that story. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep from laughing out loud in the back seat of that, van, of that safari vehicle. And I'm like, please just don't bust out laughing. Don't be that guy. 
<laughs> oh man. Woo. His name is Tom. I don't know if Tom knows how much of an impact he made uh, on our community, but give it up for Tom. I hope somehow this gets back to Tom one of these days and he knows. Just, oh, it's Kevin! FM says, I remember that. Walt definitely remembers that. Mitten, yes, there's your don't be a zebra emoji right there for Magic Crew Cast. That's why we have it. Oh, she is beautiful, isn't she, guys? Kevin! Oh my gosh, I just, I, I, I couldn't keep up with it, Rachel. Worst thing ever is to have a uh, live streamer lose their breath. Hmm. Are we next? Are we next in line? Are we, is it us? Is it me? Am I, am I the drama? No. Hello, Kayla, how are you? I'm fantastic, how are you? We are doing wonderful. We are celebrating a, a uh, Christmas in July. I love it. And we've been hitting all four parks. This is our fourth park, and we need one more Christmas picture. Can you help us out? So now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, we've had three other photo pass photographers take a stab at this. No pressure. I don't know what to do for Christmas. I know well you've got five months to practice. <laughs> no, seriously, we just need a really cool picture with the tree of life okay. behind us. So I'm gonna put uh we're gonna put all of our YouTube friends down right here. Okay. <laughs> And loop. I feel like there's many, like, no pressure. What's no like, pressure at all. No pressure. Okay, I do no have pressure. a question, though. Have you guys made it over to Mount Everest? Because we do have magic trucks and snow over there. We have that. We're going over there next. Okay, perfect. So there's one, like, and it's a best shot of Everest in the background. There's a snowy magic truck. So where do we find that photographer at? So when you go, like, across the bridge to Asia, take a right, you'll see. Is it is it the is it the shot that's normally with it way back in the background? Yes. Where okay. like the little pimple thing is. Gotcha, I know right exactly there. where it's at. That perfect. one is a snowy, it's perfect for you. Perfect. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yes. Yeah. All right, so absolutely. Get our ears ready. Absolutely. yes, of course. Are my ears sticking out? They are. Good. <laughs> right, well, oh my god. I love this so much. Stay right there. And we are at Animal Kingdom, so you have to give me your best lion roar. Perfect. Thank you so all much, right. Do you guys want a magic shot? Sure. What can you What can you throw at us? So we have. I want to look at this. So we have Kevin. Kevin. We have Hey Hey. Hey Hey. We have birds flying above your head. How about a Hey Hey? Let's do a Hey Hey. All right. So Hey Hey is super easy. So one of you, whoever wants to do it, you're gonna take your right arm and put it out and go. That's awesome. Kayla says we've got snow over in Asia. Let's head on over. Let's go get a snow shot.
before we head over, before we get a little bit more frantic, I would just like to say, first of all, thank you to everyone who is part of our Magic Crew. Um, we have been here at Ear to Ear Magic for seven years. We have been live streaming from the parks on a regular basis for three years here on our YouTube channel. Uh, and you guys are an amazing group to spend time with. Uh, thank you for investing in us as people, as Disney creators. Um, thank you for investing into our channel and our platform so that others can come in. And as crazy and as chaotic as the parks can be, we hope that at some point, someone can come in, even for just for a few moments, and just breathe, relax, and forget about everything negative in their life. And just be. And for that, we are always very grateful. Thank you, Magic Crew. I got a couple of ringtails here. There's three of them actually. Three generations. You can see one right there. Welcome in, Mickey Lover. Kayla was awesome. We always have a really great time with our uh, photographers. You know what? Just an excuse to spend some time, be silly, and have some fun. So we're going to be going straight to the bridge to Asia. Straight across the bridge, take a right to Asia, and uh, we'll get our uh, see if we can get our snow shot. Thank you, Maribel. Without you. Without the people who are in our streams, without the people liking, without the people chatting, I would just be a guy walking around talking to his phone. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free. Philosophy, Hakuna Matata. You know what, Greg, we have some amazing mods. If you guys haven't met some of our moderators, they are the most generous of people. You know how I know this? It's because they give their time, they give their efforts, they give their resources, they give some of their life to come in and watch the chat and make sure everything is good and uh, to watch out for you guys, to make sure that you're taken care of, to make sure that we stay within guidelines between both YouTube and our own channel guidelines so that we stay family friendly for all those to be able to watch. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you, get, if you see a blue wrench beside a name, you can always let them know how much we appreciate them. I know I appreciate them. Thank you to our mods. Give it up for the moderators. We're going to close the live stream and Owen's going to take me to Yak and Yeti. <laughs> uh, I didn't get a chance to check and see where we're at for our challenge earlier. And we are seven away. Lucky seven. Seven. We need seven people to hit the subscribe button. So be prepared. If we hit seven more Magic Crew members, seven of you guys hit the subscribe button. Susan's going to throw in a snack poll. I'll let you guys send us to one final snack before we close out our streams today. This is our this is our photo shot. It's a little bit of a line. 
little bit. Little bit of a line. You know, I think uh, while we're waiting, how about we play another clip uh, from some of our uh, some of our past streams? I would love to. Uh, I like. I want to play our clip from the 2022 um, uh, Wine and Dine 5K that we ran last year because it has some of our mods in it. Some of our mods ran. Um, we had a, a whole group of people who ran with us last year and um, it was great to have them join us. Uh, some of them ran their race for the very first time. So here is our running the 5K last year in the Wine and Dine and crossing the finish line uh, with some of our Magic Crew. So check this out. Come on, Drew! Are we ready? Here we go, let's do it. We got it. Let's do it. Not that fast. I don't mean to be Come on, you can do it. Take it slow, take it slow, take it slow. You don't want to run fast. This is your moment. Don't take it fast. Take it slow. Enjoy it. Come on, guys. We got it. You got it, Jill! Ready, right you got it, Steven! Congratulations! Woo! Give it up for Mickey! Hey guys! Mickey! Well done! And we did it! Got the US Woo! Army represented right there. <laughs> you were the Philadelphia Eagles for the Philadelphia Oh man! And that is the Disney Wine and Dine 5K in the books. Woo! Oh. There you go, Maddie. How are you? Amy. Amy. So it was great. We all get to cross the finish line together. How are you doing today, Maddie? Good. How are you? Uh, we're celebrating Christmas in July. It's July 25th. I love it. Kayla at the front told me you might know where we can find some snow. Yes. Can you help us out with a snow shot? I can help you with that, yeah. All right, so cool. Let's. Uh, I'm going to put our YouTube friends down here and see if we can get it. Is it okay if we leave our stuff like right here? Yeah, Is it okay? Fine. All right. All right. Let's see if we can get our snow shot in. We have been. This is our fourth park today, oh, wow. and uh, we have been getting Christmas shots all day long. I Believe me, that. this heat is not the <laughs> Well, I love the festivities. All right. Oh, we're doing snow. So uh, should we show we... regular, regular photos first? Like cold temperatures, like 60 degrees. <laughs> Have a great day. Stay warm. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah, I think that kind of comes with the with the territory, right? Thank you, Maddie. Okay. Uh, anybody want to go say hello to a Yeti? Yeti, 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 Yeti. Is before you before you're on. Uh, now that I'm carrying a backpack and. Just for the fact that I may have to carry a backpack in the future and do this, what's the optimal way to secure a backpack at your legs um, when riding a rope? I just put it directly in between my legs and then pull, pull my legs together. On um, Expedition Everest, it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is pretty fine. I just put it right between it and just squeeze slightly, and you're good to go. He said he was going to try. <laughs> I, I hope that some of these people uh, encounter me more than once to know that I, um, I can be a little facetious.
Thank you, Josh. Congratulations on being part of that 25. We could not literally have done it without you. Morning doves all over the ground. There's like five morning doves I just walked through. And again, thank you to Kayla for that suggestion. It's Christmas in July. We're gonna go see a guy about a Yeti. Now, if you guys aren't aware of the fact, this is one of Naomi's favorite rides. Honestly, the only reason she mods for our channel is for the occasional ride, hanging out with the Yeti. And point. Are we open? Always look for a single rider. <laughs> yes, squad. Single rider entrance is open. And remember, when you go through single rider, you have to sing the single rider song. Right, Owen? All the single riders, 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 all the single riders. You put your hands up. Woo! You and your party may and will be separated. You gotta cut them separated. Houdini dogs. Houdini dogs. Is that like a hog dog? We do, we're gonna hydrate. Matter of fact, I may be hydrating while we're in line here. Oh, that would be great. It's always a luck of the draw on this one. Let's go get that Yeti! Yeti, 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 Yeti. Oh, loser, dork face has got to catch up. She's still watching Owen dance. You can go back and watch Owen dance as much as you want, though. Hey, Owen, you, can you want to grab our water out for us? And can you hand me my circle? I'm going to hydrate a little bit while we're in line. At least the sun's gone down. Thank you, sir. We're drinking Florida Man on the circle. Literally, it's called Florida Man. Orange citrus. I have been hydrating. Thank you, sir. So Josh, um, we have been preparing for getting ready to go on a Virgin Voyages cruise ship. We have a Virgin Voyages group cruise set for next March. Uh, we already have several of our Magic Crew uh, community who are going with us on that cruise. And uh, I told Susan, I said, we've never done this before on a cruise ship, but I think we need to, um, on our next time we uh, cruise on Virgin, we need to do the spa day. We need to check out the spa services. They have an ice bath on there, and I, I want to I wanna try it out. Hey, do you want to go in front of us? Because we were, do you want to go in front of us? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Scott says I need to share the hog dog story. That was one of the clips I thought I was gonna. I was thinking about pulling in and sharing with you guys the story of the hog dog. Um, we had three new hot dogs that were coming in yeah. over at the lunching pad uh, over in Magic Kingdom, and uh, one of them was called the queso fundido. Uh, there was a mistype. There, there was, was a, a mistype. There was a, a misspell. One leather and the word hot dogs. And they, instead of spelling queso fundido hot 
dog, H-O-T. Someone had accidentally spelled hog, H-O-G, but it it was a, 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 a correct spelling of a word, so it did not caught, get caught by autocorrect. And um, somehow it got printed on the sign. All of the signs up there on the, on the menu, all across the board, there were like three windows, all three windows had the misspelling on it. You could get the queso fundido hog dog, which is really funny because it's an all beef hot dog. Um, which, you know, there's no hog in it. There's no no pig, it's beef. But, um, How long so was that? Was that up we, for three weeks? It was up for about two and a half, at least three weeks. Uh, and it did exist. It was true. Um, matter of fact, I don't even know if I still have it up. I think I got rid of it. Uh, hang on, let's see. I may still have it up here, guys. Oh, it is still here. Look at this. There we go. The Queso Fundido Hog Dog. Um, and so we, uh, we, we, we joked about it. Um, all the other two dogs were spelled correctly. But um, it wasn't until you guys sent me on a lunch pole to go back to try another hot dog. And I joked about it with the cast member behind the window about the hog dog. And she goes, what do you mean? I said, well, there's, it says up there, the queso fundido hog dog. She goes, you're kidding me. She gets on the phone on her little um, uh, earpiece, starts talking into it. The next day we go into the Magic Kingdom, signs corrected. It now says hot dog. And uh, if I had just kept my mouth shut, <laughs> yeah, we, we would still have a queso fundido hot dog to this day. Um, may we never forget the hot dog. Welcome in, Julian. And you said, do you know Expedition Everest was the most expensive ride to make at Disney World? Now, does that take into effect how much it costs for Tron or Guardians of the Galaxy? Or Flight Passage? Or Flight of, well, I don't know, Flight of Passage. I don't know, maybe. It's, it's, a, it's well, it could be expensive, I guess. It doesn't move. Uh, yeah, sure. So it's like just watching a movie, like a simulator. I wouldn't be surprised by that, though. Well, I'm glad you, glad you enjoyed this here, Julianne. Now, I'm going to break down. I'm going to have to take off my Santa's hat, and I can't wear it like I normally do. Normally, I put it in my belt. Um, we're going to break down Gus Gus to make our uh, gimbal a little smaller so that we can enjoy the ride with you guys. And, uh, oh, and I think I'm going to have to put the uh, Santa hat somewhere. No more Santa hat for now. Did I fit it in there? Thank you. Somebody having fried spam? Sweet. Susan loves fried spam. Cindy was there for the hot dog day. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. It's a brand new day, what you waiting for? And what a day it has been, guys. Welcome in, Disney Pal from Boston. Welcome in, Patty. Hello, hello. Thank you, Emily. Have a wonderful time with the units. And we'll see you again real soon. I love doing that as well. It was a little uncomfortable at times, mouse ears and beers, because we got to be very careful that we're not um, impacting the day-to-day -day operations. We're not here to cause Disney problems. We're not here to be difficult. And if we if we if we don't take it very serious, respectful care in doing that, um, we could get ourselves negative um, attention. So. We do it for the right reasons, that's the main thing. But it was so much fun, especially when I got to buy one for someone's grandmother. It was their very first, it was her first trip 
She was like some, I think she was in her early 70s. It was her very first trip to Walt Disney World. I would have loved to have had that hot dog sign. You know they threw it away. Where are we going? Where are we going? Number one. Front row. Nice. Hey, everybody. We just got put in the front row. Everybody happy with that? We got about 500 people riding with us on YouTube, so they're extremely excited to have front row. Now, no, nobody's screaming in the chat now. We don't want to embarrass ourselves. How many are we away now, Heather? Last time I checked, we were about, what, seven away? Five away. We're very close to hitting that challenge. Susan would have been very happy with that as a wedding gift. Woo, you guys are making me hungry, Farrah. That's right, Forever Young, we made it to the front row. Sure. Which one? The other, the other side? Uh, sure, I'll take the other side. I never get the ride on the other side. No. Single rider always gets put in last, so I always get in last. <laughs> it's a better view, though. Have you ridden here before? No, it's the first time. First time? You get in first. It's a better view. I want you to enjoy it. I ride here all the time. Oh, yeah? Okay. We're here every, we're here every weekday. So, yeah, I'm from Vegas. This is from Vegas. Hot there too, man. You know what it's like. Last time I was on this trip, I baked. No, right before we get to the mountain, look to the right. Beautiful view of the park. Is she watching you from the other side? <laughs> it's a great viewpoint to the other side. Welcome in, Vicky. Good to see a smoking point. It's a great ride. Wonderful ride. About a month ago, we rode it 12 times in one day. So. It's that good. View right there.
you guys did a track flip. Watch the track. Flip. Here we go. Messed my hair up a little bit, but I'm okay. It's got some good negative G's on there. Huh? It's got some good negative G's in there, yeah. the back end of it. Enjoyed it. Have a good trip. Thank nice you. to meet you. Oh, you're same train. Same train. Thank you. Front row. It was so weird seeing her screen from the back. Oh, oh no, you could see my screen from the back. I wasn't that bright, but I can still see like barely. Oh, I feel terrible now. Here's All your right. Christmas. Here's my Christmas. Oh, thank you. Happy check out these. It's check out these new guys. Uh, we haven't got to have a chance to share them, but. Check out these adorable little guys. Look at those yetis. What's that? The only thing I put it um, put it between my legs, but I placed it sideways to put my leg group over the strap, so it's like here. So we've got a uh, we've got a new Yeti plush. Check this guy out. All all, all the merch for um um. Um, forbidden Mountain Exploration Everest is either like the cutest thing you ever seen or like I survived the <laughs> Yeti. There's no, there's no second option. Thank there. you, Lindsay. Here we go. You're missing out on it, Jenny. Check out our Forbidden Mountain. And I think this one's pretty awesome. Look. I love the yellow and the uh, the Yeti in the background. That one's pretty sweet, Owen. I think if you're ever looking for uh, no price on it, it's free. If you're ever looking for an Animal Kingdom shirt, I think that one's pretty good, especially for the summertime. Yeah, it's bright. And was one more thing though. Hang on, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think I know where you're Oh yeah. Did that have that great Look at these hats. Ooh. Furry hats. Poor cast members have to put them up all day long. Everybody wants to yeah, try them on. I'm not a Yeti for Oh, not Yeti for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this. Oh. Our Yeti hat. Size oh. adjuster. Yeah, you can make it bigger. One size fits all. All the single yetis, all the single yetis, all the single yetis, all the single yetis. <laughs> so I just think that's kind of fun. You're a big yeti fan. It's a cool hat. All right, I gotta put this. Uh, I gotta put this uh, gimbal back together again. All right. Well, guys, I don't know if you guys realize this. We have been to all four parks. 
ridden an attraction at each and gotten a photo in front of the main symbol and icon of each park. With only uh, an hour and a half up the stair, we made good time. Excellent time. I gotta put my Christmas hat back on. Yeah, put your gay Christmas hat. Christmas! So a couple of things real quick. First of all, I'm showing that we are four Magic Crew members away from hitting our challenge so far. So we've got four more. We need four more people to hit the subscribe button to hit the challenge that the mods put out at the beginning of the stream. Scenic Super Zoom photo. Okay, have one here. They do have a super zoom photo. I was trying, I was trying to get you to do one at all of them, but you're like, no, no, we don't have time. We walked right past the one at Galaxy's Edge. We could have gotten a super zoom at every single one of the parks. I didn't want to risk it. He didn't want to risk it for the biscuit. And uh, hang on, I got one more thing I got to check. I haven't checked. I, I am so sorry. I have not checked PayPal notifications in a bit. <sighs> and earlier, earlier in today, we just, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew at 5:20. Rachel sent in a $25 PayPal, recognizing 25K members of our Magic Crew. Thank you so much, Rachel. Says congratulations on 25K and providing an amazing platform of joy and positivity. And uh, thank you, Rachel, for allowing us the opportunity and uh, for just helping uh, the community to do that. So greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Rachel. And ooh, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew at 513 Forever Young sent in a $25 PayPal. Again, for 25,000 Magic Crew members. Thank you so much, Forever Young. Greatly appreciate you guys. And for always investing spirit, positivity, and care for others in the community. I know that for a fact, we get messages, I get mail, I get I get all kinds of things from these guys, and they are always oh, super concerned magnet. about you guys. So, Owen wants to get his magnets. Right. Magnets! So, thank you so much, Forever Young. Greatly appreciate that. Do I have to, do I have to like, play like a game? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go find out. We haven't been to the Animal Kingdom since they've started it. And we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew from Pam Washington. I know Pam loves you guys. She's hanging out. It is almost 11 o'clock in the UK, and Pam is still here supporting you guys and hanging out. Thank you so much, Pam. Pam sent in a $6.26 PayPal. That's Ohana. That's that's for you guys. That's for the community. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much, Pam.
Tiger being a steeper issue. Following the signs. Don't be a zebra, don't be a zebra, don't be a zebra, don't be a zebra. I do know. You gonna ask? I know, it's going like I bet he would be able to tell you. Well let's wait until And Pam, did you did you invite some people into our community here today by gifting memberships again? Thank you so much, Pam. <laughs> You're inside. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Christian. That poor guy, they put him right by a sign that said, get your magnets right here. Look who's coming, guys. He's ferocious. You gotta watch out for them chipposaurs. The Deladons are pretty good too. Outdoor Voices Apparel, 30% off. Oh, that was what the hat was from. Yes. I'm outside and that was it. Like, blue tucks in the white hat. Look at that shirt. That's a pretty cool shirt. Is it thin? Oh, it's very thin. It is. Like it's ninety-eight dollars, thirty percent off. You get some goofy shorts too. Those look, those are pretty goofy. All the outdoor voices apparel is thirty percent off. You get gas for forty-one cents here. That's cheap. All right, let's go find those magnets. Magnets. Over here to the left. Oh, wait, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. You have to go outside. I think you have to go outside. Right? Yes. photo ID, everybody's going to be the pass. Oh, don't you mind? Yes, you want to need your photo ID and your pass. I think I already have mine, but I don't know if he's gotten his, so. The ears. Beautiful ears. Thank you so much, my brother. You know how hard I had to work for each individual one of those? And he just waltzes right in here and gets all three. Kids these days don't understand the work as adults had to do. Okay. <laughs> you guys have a great Christmas in July. <laughs> no, I'm just wearing a Christmas hat for fun. <laughs> you want to put these in yours or you want to put them in? Oh, you want to put it in there? You can put it in my back. Uh, which pocket? Uh, the small one. Smallest? Small one, yeah. Okay, the the one with the uh, stuff in it. The, like the pins and the that kind of stuff. Okay, put in the small one. Okay. Where the battery? Um, I don't know, Andrew. I think it was all just kind of crazy thinking there for the longest time. I I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. So I went and got all three magnets. What did you get? Did you get the Dumbo? Okay, memory. Dumbo, Orange Bird, and the 50th Mickey and Minnie, just with the glitter. Mickey was? I, mean, I think that's the kind of vibe it's going for. Mm. So Owen got all three of his magnets. Oh, it's right. The random store has the word tyrant in it. How about how can I not know that? Uh, this is not a bad looking shirt, Owen. Oh, 
Very bright and red. Autobox. Autobox. I was so mad when we went to um, Carry the Warehouse the other day, and they had... Um, sorry they had... sorry about that. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I thought, that's a cool shirt. <laughs> they, they, I was so um, mad the other day when we went to Carry the Warehouse, and they had, like, Autobox cases. It was like a... Fi I'm doing it this way because the light's making right. you look weird. And... I was, and the one that, the ones that they had up were really cool, I really liked the sign, only had them in phones, the phone sets that, that we have behind, so. I mean, five dollars for a fifty dollar case, that's a steal. Yeah, he, he wanted a five dollar case, and he's like, that's perfect, and he went through it, none of them were his, for his size phone. By the way, thank you for the person who. They, uh, there was one for my old iPhone 8, though, so I got a five dollar out of box, uh, for, uh, my old, 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 old phone. Uh, Cindy wanted to know about this one. Uh, that one's uh, from. Um, they're going to show that you're, you're. By the way, thank you for the person who says Magic Mail and said, heard me talking about I needed to get a case eventually and just sent a custom case. It's even that so was, Iron Man. <laughs> like that was one, very nice, nice of you guys. Too. Thank you for the Magic thank Mail. You. So these are uh, brand new designs. Um, they are from. I'm trying to remember the designer's name. Um, it's right over here. Eric uh, Tan is his name, I think it is. And he designed all these really cool, like futuristic, like um, space age characters. And you've got Oswald, the lucky rabbit. You've got Alice, you've got uh, Peter Pan. You even got a stitch one. And they're just little figures. I'm being told that we are three away from reaching our challenge. Only three more people. We need subscribe. three more people to hit the subscribe button. And then we'll do a one last hurrah for this long day. Melanie, what you only need one of those AP magnets? So, yo, know, I want to know what happens if I'm only missing one. Can I still get all three? I wonder if they let me have another set of three. If they would, I could just give them away. I'd love to give them away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I love giving stuff away. I just don't like going to the post office. I know, those, the boxes that they come in are pretty awesome sweet, Gabriel. So if you only need one, I'm assuming they're just going to give you all three. I have a feeling if I gave them my annual pass, they'd probably just give me all three of them anyway. They have lots of them left over, and uh, I don't think they'd have any problem with getting a little extra. Well, guys, thank you for everybody who's watching. Uh, again, if you guys are brand new to our channel, we would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get three more people. We need three more people to hit the subscribe button. I'm close to just saying call it and let's just make it happen. So if you're interested and you want to see that, now would be the time to press that, press the big red button. And also, don't forget, guys, you guys did hit the uh, challenge for part one for getting number of likes on uh, part one stream. Even if you missed part one, leave a comment on part one on the replay. That is what will enter you into the giveaway for the Cinderella popcorn bucket. We're going to pick one of those up this evening, and uh, we will pick one random comment that was left in the replay, not in the live, but in the replay from part one. Uh, to get the Cinderella Pop One Disney 100 bucket from uh, Magic Kingdom. I don't know about you, Owen. I'm, 
I I'm pretty tired. It has been a day. Oh, we still need to get back from, after we're doing this, we still need to get oh, back yeah. to Magic Kingdom. We still have to go all the way back to Magic Kingdom. That's where it starts, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. You want me to try the shit, we're not done yet. Uh, I want to go find a Halloween shirt, though. Can we go find a Halloween shirt? Oh, that's nice, but sure. I yeah. keep hearing about this Halloween okay. shirt. I don't Here's know if it's still here or not. Good night, Brittany. Oh, oh, not this song. I gotta keep talking so you guys can't hear the song because it's a copyright song and it just is amazing and I'm gonna make it all the way through. Okay, <laughs> help me find a Halloween shirt, Owen. It's, it's just an orange shirt that says Walt Disney World on it. That's it. Nothing else. It's an orange shirt that says Walt Disney World. It's got Halloween colors on it, that's it. Christopher says, can we go back to MK with you? Well, how about this? We have to go back and pick up the popcorn bucket anyway. Hey, Susan, why don't you ask, uh, you want to ask mom if she wants to put the uh, treat pole up for Magic Kingdom? I found it. I found it. Oh, that's cute. I found it. With the little hat. Do you want me to ask on the answer? I didn't, I didn't quite get that. I have been searching for this shirt for like a month. <laughs> no, no exaggeration, dude. I've been looking for this since the end of June. Uh, it was at the Magic Kingdom at one point. That's a pretty cool looking little shirt. It's got a little witch hat. Um, don't put it on. What do you want me to ask mom? I didn't quite get that for some Sure, why don't you ask her? I mean, we've got, uh, we have this point, we are two hours, three hours into this stream. Um, we have to go back to the Magic Kingdom to get the popcorn bucket. Why don't we do our treat poll for the Magic Kingdom? Get a couple of pictures of the shirt. I like that shirt. It's I like the orange. The orange and the red and the yellow and the white. Just like cotton candy. Uh, did they have it in my size? Uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, yeah. My gosh. In big. I was big. I need to start working out. <laughs> Seriously. Wait, what's that shirt? Look like a, a giant pumpkin. I can't believe But what shirt? Um, well, first of all, shirt. Thank you. Hmm? Go for it. What are you doing? I'm getting out of the way. Yeah. Owen's going in. What you doing, Owen? What's Owen going for? Oh, you show it. Show it to us. What you got? The most magical place on Don't earth. Don't start singing, please. Answer the yeah. call. No, I just passed the house. Three shins, like I would wear that one. The uh, orange one, that's a cute shirt. I haven't seen that design either. I like the, the story back. Adult tees, $25 each when you buy two. Regularly $29.99. Say five, say five bucks each if you buy two. Owen, look, knickknack. Owen likes the Pixar shorts. Yeah. Knickknack. Short shirt. Knickknack, patty whack, get the dog a bone. Short shirt. I know that crazy acting part. We're only 17 days away from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Oh, have you seen this shirt? Mm. Ooh. This one right here. Baby Dove was taking over the oh, street. Oh, wow. Try the great stuff. It's delicious. I never it's like two that shirts. Nice. It is. It's stitched together. It's two different... I've seen this kind of shirt a lot, but I've never seen it. It this looks before. a little weird in the middle there. And that's the point. So Baby Dove is heading out. Thank you so much, Baby Dove. You have been on it all day today and making uh, making Thai meatball soup for the first time. You have to tell us, please tell us tomorrow how it turns out.
you seen the sword in the stone shirt? That was pretty cool. It's pretty. It's pretty rare to have a uh, sword in the stone. I love. I, I I saw it for the first time in my local library. It was uh, a free movie. It was the first one we had on VHS, and I used to watch it every single day. And I like that it's like the old style. Oh yeah, exactly. That's a cool looking design. I love it. Are you getting it? No, I'm getting the Loki one. The Loki one's pretty cool too. We've been looking for the uh, Halloween shirt now for about a couple weeks. So, what Halloween shirt is that? very, very far left on the see the orange. It's got a little witch hat on it, and it's got candy corn oh, colors. That's hilarious. Seventeen days to Halloween starts here, so. I know that's what that's. I know. All right, baby dove. Thank you. Have a great one. So we're gonna um, go back to Magic Kingdom. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I mentioned that 17 days till uh, we start here, and as I walked off, she walked up to a cast member. She goes, "Halloween starts in August." Yep. Yep. August 11th. August 11th. All right, Melanie. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you guys for spending the day with us here today. Uh, so what was that, Owen? We got a little bit of time. You want? We're gonna head on back to the Magic Kingdom. Let's do this. Susan, why don't you go ahead, put up a treat poll, give us a treat option for the Magic Kingdom. We'll end today's stream in the MK and uh, we'll grab the popcorn bucket and give it away tomorrow in our stream. I hope you guys can join us tomorrow. Our streams this week, we're uh, closing out and getting the last part of our 25K for today, Christmas in July. And tomorrow we're gonna be at Animal Kingdom Lodge for a complete walking tour of uh, our streams. Uh, walking tour of uh, all the uh, things you can find over at Animal Kingdom Lodge. This music is safe. Okay. And then Food and Wine starts on Thursday, guys. Brand new festival starts. We're going to be there opening day. And back here at Animal Kingdom on Friday. Oh, you're not leaving? Oh, good. We don't want you to go just yet. All right, we got a Chris. Wait, wait, what's an alert? Am I missing something? Am I in trouble? Did I? Hang on. What am I missing? Hello, Alicia. Riley says the Sword in the Stone is my rainy day feel-good movie. Aristocats. Everybody wants to be a cat. Uh, Chris, does Owen want one of the shirts? I will send him money. Did you guys? Did you want one of the shirts? I'll tell you, Roxanne. Owen will never ask for a shirt. Owen will never ask for anything. <laughs> I have to sometimes just make him take it. He is, uh, he's never one to ask. I'm never going to get a Disney shirt unless I'm like, I guess in the past I've had a um, bad habit of getting shirts and just not wearing them. So unless I'm like 100% certain I'm okay at wearing them, I will wear them and not get shirts. I was interested in some of those signs, but I wasn't hurt. Thank you for the offer. I appreciate it. I think he likes it, Roxanne, but like I said, he he is he's good. Thank you so much, Roxanne. Thank you. But we're we don't we, we really don't like getting personal things on the streams because we we want we, we don't ever want it to take away from what you guys are doing. Oh, so do we, Lorraine. We love the resort we're tours. We are going for a circle. We're going to go all the way back to where it started, the Magic Kingdom. Mahia family, welcome in. The popcorn bucket. There she is. There's little Annie. Is she in the corner again? Oh, yeah. Annie's sleeping. Yes, she is. Annie the anteater. She's just taking a little nap. So, um, the, uh, we are, um, 
we are going to get the Cinderella carriage popcorn bucket, the one for the Disney 100. And uh, if everyone who leaves at least a comment on part one of today's streams, we're going to randomly select a number forever how many comments there are if there are 100 comments we'll select the number one through 100 and uh, we'll do it while we eat tomorrow if you guys can help remind me while we're having um, our um, lunch tomorrow at animal kingdom lodge so make sure guys since you guys work so hard to hit the challenge on part one we want you guys to enter every comment gets you another entry so if you leave five comments you get five entries that's all there is to it so go find part one leave as many comments as you would like feel free to respond to anyone else's comments because that's just fun and uh we will uh pick randomly a number and one of those comments from uh during tomorrow's uh lunch and uh send you guys a popcorn bucket uh, can canadians win too Yes, Canadians can win too. We just have to make sure we know how to send. Yeah, I still to... owe I still owe two people pennies. I still have them. Uh, and uh, don't worry, guys. I haven't forgotten about you. Uh, I just I um, I got one that sent out. It was uh, to our friend Thomas in Canada, and it was a penny. It was literally an envelope with a penny in it. Uh, and uh, Canada sent it back and go, Oh no, you don't. No, you don't. You got to fill out a form. So, um, no, we can, uh, I'll figure out how to do that. We'll... They really are a uh, Mickey lover. The mods are terrific. We're going to jump on a bus. We're going to head back to the Magic Kingdom. And uh, we hit it. 25,000. 88 magic crew members you guys hit the the goal the second goal that the mods put up for part two uh and uh guys can you guys uh quickly give a quick shout out and thank you to susan who's been putting up with my foolishness all day long and uh, now she's going to put up a snack poll for magic kingdom she's like ah oh, first i did one for hollywood studios then I did one for Animal Kingdom. Now I gotta change it for Magic Kingdom. Somebody put this guy. He did say she was halfway through when She was halfway through working the poll up. She's gotta she's gotta type all that stuff up. <laughs> so we're gonna do a we're gonna do a poll. We're gonna do a poll for snacking for Magic Kingdom. You guys choose what we're gonna grab for a snack. We're gonna go into the MK. We're gonna have our snack conclude our part two and uh we're going to call it a day over at MK. Woo, look at this pretty ground. It's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. So pretty and white. And so swirly. Susan does a lot of stuff behind the scenes, guys. She okay. works really hard. So, is there a bus to Animal Kingdom? No. Is there a bus to Magic Kingdom, or are we going to have to take a bus to Magic Kingdom? Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom. Number three. Number three. Where, where's number three? Uh, this way. This way. Same, same road we came off of. We are going back to MK, Go Tigers. We did it. We hit all four parks. We did our ride. We did our photos. We still have time. So we're going to go right back to the park we were at before. I don't know how she does it, Pam.
I think uh, I think part of it has to do with the fact that um, I take the car and she can't go anywhere. Um, maybe. I, I really can't explain it. All the way down. There's Magic Kingdom on it right there, doesn't it? Magic Kingdom awaits. All these people are running for it. <laughs> what do you think about a six part stream? All right, we're gonna go back to MK and then run over to uh, Universal Studios. That would be crazy. Is you gonna wait long enough for us to get on? How's it going? Standing up. We are standing up. We are full. Wow. Can we please move all the way to the back of the bus, please? Up the steps, all the way to the back of the bus, please. Ooh, we're going to be crowded. This is going to be a little tight. And I lost Owen. <laughs> this one's going to be full. As far as we're gonna get, this might be it. That's it. You guys, you guys have a place to grab. All right. We just sit here and stare at Owen. Let's sit back and relax. Which park has the best mac and cheese? You know, Doug, I, I would probably go with the park we just left. Over at Flame Tree Barbecue, they have a mac and cheese with pulled pork on top. Makes it pretty good. Uh, Gabriel, in the words of uh, me. Mm. Mike wants to know what our step count is today. Oh, let me tell you. Let's see, today's step count. Uh, pretty low, actually. We're only at 15,445 steps so far today. So we're less than 16,000 steps. A little different than last time, right, Green Giant? Michelle says, go for number four. Everybody waved Owen. Hi, Owen. Owen looks spaced out. Imagine that it is Tony. The weight distribution on this is probably just infuriating. 
We ask that you refrain from eating, drinking, and smoking uh, and the uh, YouTube. We're, we're live on YouTube at the moment. So, uh, it's uh, ear to ear magic. You know, when you smile really big, you smile from ear to ear. So we're uh, we're celebrating 25,000 uh, subscribers today. So thank you very much. And uh, we're also doing uh, Christmas in July. So I, I noticed you guys aren't wearing your Santa hats today. Did you guys leave them back at the hotel? <laughs> what to say? They got some really cool Nightmare Before Christmas stuff out now. Yeah. So. That would have been perfect. See, that's, it was your subconscious telling you that's Christmas in July. Now, back in the day, they used to actually celebrate Christmas in July here at the parks. They had like Christmas treats and stuff on the day. But then they started about two years ago doing the halfway to the holidays. Halfway to Christmas is different than July 25th. So now they, they celebrate it at a different time. But they used to have, uh, matter of fact, Santa, Santa used to show up at Disney Springs on this day every July. And uh, I got a picture with my kids um, meeting uh, Santa wearing um, Caribbean shorts and a, uh, and a Hawaiian t-shirt. That's awesome. And uh, it's pretty awesome, yeah. They, uh, they built a little space for him to sit on and there's uh, like sand at the bottom. Oh. It was like he was on, you know, he was on vacation. Yeah. Uh, we do uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Uh, we're also on um, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, not since we've started streaming. Um, we so what's that? Oh, we love the overlay, especially with the Nightmare Before Christmas. Big fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. I wish they did that here, but we don't, you know. We're the we're the we're the stepchild, yeah. so to speak, of that how that goes sometimes. So yeah, we're from that area, so we have passes right there. Oh, it's great! I love it when they also do uh, the uh, gingerbread oh, yeah. displays and all that as well. It's amazing. So uh, you guys are from the uh, California area. What part of California? We're from near Anaheim. Near Anaheim? Sweet. You're already subscribed. You're already part of the crew. Well, no wonder we have 25,000 subscribers. You're already one of them. So, so I, I used I used to live in Santa Clarita, uh, and I uh, worked in Burbank. So we had a lot of fun out there. Uh, something called 9/11 happened, and we got sent back here to the East Coast. Uh, so one of these days we're gonna we want to go back out there and have some fun on the West Coast as well. So let me ask you guys a uh, question: uh, Which is better, Pirates of the Caribbean here or Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland? You like the Disneyland one better? You guys have two drops, yeah. right? What's that? I haven't gone to Pirates of the Caribbean Oh, you haven't been to the one here yet? You guys gotta go check. Are you guys gonna make it there this week? Yeah, we're headed there right now. Oh, you're headed there right now. Sweet. Now, I will say, um, there is something nice about coming here at Disney World at Christmas time, because we have a lot more parks. <laughs> So we can do a lot more, you know, food and treats and everything else. Uh, and uh, we have over 20 hotels, all the hotels. We have so many uh, gingerbread displays. It's crazy. It takes me almost the entire holiday season to visit all of them. Oh, oh you are? Awesome. So where are you where are you from originally, the Anaheim area? I love it when people from Anaheim come over and, and, and hang out and hang out with us here. Now, what happens if you fall in love with this area and stay here? Is that a possibility? That's always a possibility with DCP. They know that. It's a it's it's a gateway role. It really is. I love it. All the greatest ideas to do, but I'm not a real sports. From the from California? Yeah. It's it's fine. I mean, I love Disney. Now I'm doing um Castonia. Gabriel says uh hello uh from Anaheim. Our, our chat's in here listening to us talk. Normally, I'm 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 straight into the chat and I'm chatting with everybody in here, but I have to I know I have to I hold know, on I right know, now. I know it's hard. I know I do a custodial extra. 
Brian's like, what's up, California? <laughs> where, where are you guys from? Louisiana. You live here? You're local? Awesome. And uh, are you uh, are you enjoying it so oh, yeah. far? So, uh, what's your what's your favorite thing you've done on your trip so far? Well, this isn't really a trip. Like, we come here all the time. Okay. You know, so, I don't know. We're like an hour away. So, so have um, you've done both Trine and Guardians of the Galaxy? We're going to do Trine right now. We're about to go. Have you never been on Trine? But which? Okay. So this is always the question: What's better, Trine or Guardians of the Galaxy? She has uh, Have you done both? Oh yeah. I love Guardians. Guardians is such a great ride. And yeah, here's the weird thing. We park hopped we park hopped today. We grabbed the virtual queue for Guardians after we park hopped. The queue the queue stayed open that late today. So I, I, it was Guardians of the Galaxy was still open at three o'clock today for a uh, virtual queue. So it was. We grabbed it at two o'clock, even after hopping. It just makes it. I don't know. September makes the ride so much. We went three times today. Yeah. Have you rode Guardians? Sweet. I've ridden Guardians about twenty-seven times. But see, I I stream from the parks. I'm here every weekday. Really? This is my job. I'm here every single Monday through Friday. So my camera. I bring everybody with us, and that's what we do. My wife and I are travel agents, so when people watch, we can help them book. But uh, this is what I do, so I, I get the ride a lot. So my name's Chris. Nice to meet you, and thank you for being a subscriber. We couldn't do it without you guys. It makes a lot it means a lot to us. So I'm sorry about TikTok. <laughs> that's a scary platform sometimes. I think uh, 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 I, I would have to say um, Disco Inferno is probably my favorite. That's the first song I ever had. And I thought it was perfect. It just fits the ride so well. But I love Conga too. But I think the reason I like Conga is because it took us forever to get Conga. It, it took me about nine times to ride it before we finally got Conga, so it just it kind of feels like that sweet spot anymore. Yeah. They got four, they, all the four times we rode, got different songs. So that That's was pretty awesome. Lucky. Statistically, yeah. that is lucky. It was funny. We kept riding it to get Conga. We finally got Conga, and three days later, Gloria Stefan rode it. Oh. I don't like, oh, can you imagine if we had been three days later, yep. turn around and like, Conga, oh, look, it's Gloria. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Welcome in, Weirdo King. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. I would love to be in the chat, but I'm really trying to hold on. <laughs> What's that? Rock and roller coaster? Great ride. It's a good ride. Um, I love the launch on it. The launch is probably the best part. I love a good launch coaster. Another reason why I like Guardians, because it goes, you know, the backwards launch. Makes it really great. The second time we rode it, it actually, it didn't break down, but it, it stopped working. So it turned around, it put us into spot, and then it didn't do anything. We sat there for two minutes, waiting for it to launch. Talk about stress. Because <laughs> you know it's going to start any second. And we've already ridden it once, so we knew what was happening. Um, but we waited for about two minutes. It probably was only 25 seconds, but when you're that just anxious, it felt like two minutes. And then out of nowhere, it just boom, and just don't you like that was fun. Now, uh, the Avatar ride, uh, I love uh, Flight of Passage. I'm scared of heights. Uh, so I think it's a great ride. Because uh, that first that first drop is like yeah. it's breathtaking. Yeah. Um, now, do you, do you are you scared of heights? Uh, I know you have. Like, it was yeah. too high. I'm like, okay, this is a little too much. But I, 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 I like it. I like I like having a little bit of heights in a ride. I like a little bit of a thrill. So um, 
the uh, like for Tron, I, Tron doesn't bother me as far as heights go, but it's so smooth and it's so fast. I don't think about how high it is. The problem was that everything happened in a flash. Like, that happens really quick. Did you guys uh, did you guys like your photos? They have some pretty good cameras on Tron. So the Disney photo passes are really awesome because they get to show you like going through in slow mo. So you got to be careful not to look too scared on the right. So. I was scared. My picture was not great. My mom was like, how was that? It was great. Oh, so 64.9 miles per hour? So I've been here for six months. It was really looking here. I might be gone, but we're in like 2014. That was fun. Do you want to fireworks? I like the music of ours better. Are you guys going to do Half Never After tonight? Yeah. That's like what we were like. Now, um, have you, uh, have, is this your first time seeing the fireworks here? Twice already? Have you seen it from behind the castle? We've heard that we may have some rogue princesses sometimes roam behind the castle at night during the fireworks. So if you guys are watching Half Live or After from behind the castle, watch out. You never know. You may see a Snow White or a Cinderella just walking around. So it's pretty cool during the fireworks. So keep an eye out for it. Yeah, Pam Washington. Pam is watching from the UK, guys. And right now, <laughs> it's 1130 over in the UK. And Pam is still up, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. We're almost there. There's our bus stop right there. You like the space, but you guys get the great overlays. So you guys get like the galactic mountain, or what's it called? Oh yeah, we get hyperspace mountain. Hyperspace mountain. That's pretty awesome. So. Oh yeah. Now, uh, they do some pretty cool stuff here during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So they put special overlays on Space Mountain. So they change the lights up. They change the music, and it's like really rock and roll kind of crazy kind of music. They don't do it for the. They don't do it for Oogie Boogies. Oogie Boogies in DCA now, right? So it's a little different. Mm -hmm. I've never done the hyperspace, but it looks pretty cool. Right? Awesome. Oh, so cool. Now, if you want to have real fun, when you go back home to California and you talk to your friends and they ask you which better, tell them you like uh, tell them you like Disney World better because of Galaxy's Edge. They're exactly the same. <laughs> it always makes people mad when they're like, "It's the same thing." <laughs> well, it's great talking with you guys. Have a great trip. Yeah, come on in anytime you want to join us right here every weekday. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, have fun tonight. Thank you very much. Poor Owen. I guess I need to wait for him too, right? Whoop. Owen! Something that I've learned that when you open yourself up to people, there are some pretty awesome people that you run into especially in the parks so how you doing owen good um uh, yeah my hands are a little tired too from holding on to that little rope Well, we're going to go through one more final, one more final security. <laughs> so.
So uh, we're going to put our screen on pause one more time. And uh, we'll be back with you guys in just a second. I'm gonna try for one more. Can we do it? You think we can do it? I'm gonna try one more time. I believe this time we may not be sluggy, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going. Yo. Yo. First so off, let me get this back on. Um, is the camera face? Okay. Um, yeah, so for the first time for today, uh, that got bit from the studio. So I'm going to be facing the camera the nope, opposite way. There we go. Off the ground. We're just going to. We're just going away from the comfort. How is everyone doing? This has been a long day. So if you haven't fully in our poll, we have a um, we do have a treat pull up for you guys to pull in. Um, since you helped reach it over a second part of the stream, thank you for that. I see we already have multiple people. Um, um, showing support for the option of their choice. By the way, Ed, these are all the emotes, but because um, because it's come from YouTube, it's showing it's showing the basic code instead of the actual emotes. So this is this is how we see it on our side. Yeah, this is how these streams work. This is this is the raw material right here. Good, good. Bit tired. But overall, happy. Oh. There goes monorail. Um. Black. Black, orange, black. Which one? I can't tell. Yeah, that's black. It has the red on it. Okay. Um. Hello, Herbie. Thank you for joining the chat today. Oh, bam. Yo, it had to have infinity. We were all expecting it. Wow. We almost made it through the whole day. Almost the entire day. That would have been so nice, but you know. I would have questioned it. <laughs> These people are not doing their job right. There's something wrong here. There's a disturbance in the force. And here we are, Magic Kingdom, again. I feel like I've been here before. It seems familiar. Here you go. I'm just a little black rain cloud over my tree. <laughs> Much shorter line today. Much shorter line. Hello, 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 Honor. Doing good, doing good. good. Fifth gate for today. Let's hope that it makes through this time. He's got a full circle. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Woo, you thank you. Have a good one. I should have drank that water so fast. I, I believe the pool is up. I see people. Um, yeah, I've seen people have been voting the yeah. entire time. So. When do you want to close that off, my I say. Uh, Let's give it five minutes. Let's give it five. Let's give everybody a chance. If you've just popped in, I'll give you still one more chance. <coughs> nice. One more time, second time today. Here you leave today and enter the world of, of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to the Magic Kingdom. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep. About five o'clock. Yeah, which grade says because I remember them doing it at five. I did. <laughs> I, chugged, I chugged the water down and I can't breathe. Uh -oh. I got some of my lungs. <sighs> Woo! I do go home for a few hours each day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is not. It is not, um, and it is not a stretch, guys. When I say that I actually spend more time in the parks here at Disney World than some part-time cast members, and that's not really a stretch. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Magic Crew, we're back here on Main Street. What a day this has been. Started off here this morning, and we've made it all the way back again. It's Cheryl's favorite place to be. Susan does a lot. She doesn't get her fair share of credit. And she gets few of the perks. She doesn't get to try the awesome treats. She doesn't get to have the awesome rides. Oh, we got, come. hit the sidewalks. We got something coming down. What do we got coming? Something's coming, Owen. Should we, should we stand here? Should we pretend we have no idea what's coming? What is coming? Oh my gosh. Is there something coming? Welcome in Vegas Planner Girl. And may it never get old, Captain Tuttle. James says, if we're back to where we started, do we see the one C again? Uh, <laughs> Owen's like, I'm not going to give it back to you. Owen is the holder of the onesie, and he's like, I'm not going to give it back to you. I am the one who's holding a sweaty onesie in the backpack. I make this I took it off, and it's been inside a backpack all day. He says, I do not want to open that backpack. I can feel the onesie juice on my back for the entirety of the day. I think I have the authority in, in this decision. <laughs> uh, always great to have Vicky in with us today. How are you doing today, Vicky? We stayed here late, late enough for Vicky to be a part of our stream live, and it's always a pleasure. Our replay queen is here with us live. I don't know if, uh... It's coming. It's coming. I see it. It's an Adventure Friends Cavalcade. I have no idea what it is. I wonder what's coming down the street. It's an Adventure no Friends Cavalcade. Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Okay, stop listening. I'm Thank you, Joanna. Disney Houston just said, let me know, Pam Washington gifted five Magic Crew cast memberships. Thank you so much, Pam. Guys, there's probably five of you now who are randomly selected by YouTube. If you guys weren't already a Magic Crew cast, you may find yourself suddenly in green in the chat. And that was from a, an amazing gift from Pam Washington, who loves to support the community by letting them know that they are part of our community. And for the next month, if you are in green, you've been gifted a membership. Thank you guys. I want you guys to use your emojis. We want you guys to have fun with the crew. And today we have two special emojis that you guys can use just to celebrate today. A Jack Skellington and uh, yeah, there's some weird dude with a uh, Santa Claus hat on. 
Oh, and uh, according to uh, oh, and we have a couple of PayPal's. I missed the notifications. Was it close today for our uh, for our snacks? All right, we're going to be heading to Gaston's for a snack as soon as we are done. But not until we get to have our venture friends come and join us here this afternoon. Go Nicola G. There's those emojis. Looking good, Ray. Thank you for joining us today, Jennifer. Thank you, Riley. I just hope people know that this is a place they can come and do that. Put aside whatever's holding you back, things that are making you less happy. If there's something keeping you from smiling, I want you guys to put it aside for just a second. We have a ton of Disney characters coming by. I don't care how old you are, guys. We want you guys to be a kid again. Take a second and just enjoy having some fun with our Disney Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Gaston's Tavern. Oh, no. Yes, sir. You know what that means. I'm not hungry. I'm going to let Owen have it. 
<laughs> I'm gonna let you have it. I'm not hungry. What do you mean you're gonna let me have it? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> All this stuff there is big. Huge. Woo. We're swimming upstream. Thank you guys for voting in today's snack poll. We're heading to Gaston's Tavern. Sure, you want to go to Cosmic Rays first and uh, grab ourselves. How about you? Is Gaston's open? No, I would put it in there. Okay. I know sometimes they, they've closed on us before in the past. They've caught us off guard. But uh, no, we'll go by, uh, let's go by the Cosmic Rays and refill our water bottles. So, by the way, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Okay, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, we're still good. We are swimming upstream. Literally, we are on the wrong side of the stream. Woo! It's it's rough having to look at a screen and walk down the street at the same time, isn't it? <laughs> Dad, that's not fair. Uh, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. We got a PayPal at six o'clock this afternoon from Roxanne. And uh, Owen, it's for $29. Owen, it says, happy Christmas in July. Christmas is for giving. This is my gift to you. You gave your day to each and every one of us on the Magic Crew. Uh, I think Roxanne wants you to go get yourself a, a Disney shirt, dude. So thank you so much, Roxanne. He's not gonna ask. He doesn't wanna ask. I will, I will. He he likes things. He will show you that he likes things, but that won't be. I cannot take him shopping because I have to. I have to forcibly put something in his hand, in his hand, well, or yeah, just buy it. Yeah, we're like some um, Disney shirts and Disney Springs, so maybe. Are you gonna get yourself a, a new Disney shirt to wear? All right. Thank you so much, Roxanne. In all seriousness, guys, uh, he will never ask. Uh, we don't. We don't. We, and when we talk about things we like, it is not in any implication other than the fact that sometimes we just geek out about stuff. <laughs> so thank you so much, Roxanne, for the PayPal. We'll get the. We'll get Owen a Christmas in July shirt. He may sleep in it on the way home. I don't know. And uh, I don't. Um, and I think Pam is up so late. I think one of her giving buttons may be stuck because we just got a PayPal. Another Pam PayPal. We just got a PayPal from Pam Washington. Pam, I, seriously, I think your button's stuck. Jig a little, a little bit. Because we got another $6.26 from Pam Washington today. And I'm going to tell you guys if you don't think that there's people out there, who watch our streams that are some of your biggest supporters who would be there to do anything to make you guys feel better, then um, I don't know what I can do to make it any more obvious, but we've got some people who are big, big fans of this community and the people that are in it. So Pam, thank you so much for the $6.26 because that is to the community. That is a nod of love and recognition and support. And uh, thank you so much for that. Wait, we forgot, we gotta go get water.
I'm sorry. Water, 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 water. Batter up. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's We're like, like uh, over right. my head, just over my head. All right, Pam says, I'm jiggling it, Chris. It's not stuck. Okay, just, <laughs> just jiggle it. Just jiggle, jiggle. Sometimes, the, you know, you got to gotta hit. Sometimes our, 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 our toilets here in the in the United States they they get stuck and you gotta kind of kind of like hit it a little bit. Yeah, you just gotta like take your broom. Just like yeah, if not, it just continually runs water, and you're like, That's what is that fun. noise? And you just got yeah, I just making sure. <laughs> oh, Roxanne, I was just in tears watching the characters come down Main Street. There will be people who watch this stream and not understand that, Roxanne. There will be others who watch it, never comment. They may never hit the subscribe button. We may never hear from them ever again. But if they just for a second enjoy the characters like you did, it's all worth it. In my mind, Mental health in that way is just something that is more valuable than anything else. And sometimes I don't care how old you are. Sometimes you just need to see characters running up and down Main Street. Brian, can someone post a PayPal link? I'll have to, Brian. It's all good, man. George! George just made a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. You just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Thank you, George. George also tipped $6.26. It really is just a space that others um, have every meaning. Go ahead. You're good. Oh, I appreciate it. Come on in after me, though. Thank you. If not, he gets out of practice. <laughs> All right, which, which one's the low weight? This one or that one? Got a lot of strollers. It's hard to tell. Let's try this one. Thank you, George. That's the Ohana, the 626. Mahalo. Thank you, George. All right, we're in line for water. Most precious commodity here. George, um, you know me and you know that it is my utmost pleasure to be able to do what we do. I find so much joy out of it. Water bottle. What are you doing? You ate to owe it to yourself, Owen. Well, that's the, one of the greatest things about the community, Cheryl, is you don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to justify yourself. You don't have to somehow explain to you, to others, why you feel the way that you do. Because no matter how you feel, no matter what reaction you get to riding pirates and you love the smell, it doesn't matter how much you love to ride the people mover. It doesn't matter what the fireworks do to you. It doesn't matter the memory that you had as a kid seeing the castle for the first time. There's someone else in this chat who knows exactly that same feeling. And you don't have to explain yourself. We know. We get it. We're just glad you can feel it again.
Yes, this cafe does have two water bottle stations. Uh, that one, the other one was a little bit longer. One time we came in here two weeks ago and the line over there was about 15 people deep. There were two people over here. And I was like, okay, we're gonna go to this one. Let's jump out of the way and let the next person get their water. Water. Okay, gas on. Water. All right. I'm going to need to uh, plug into, uh, I'm going to redo my batteries real quick. So let's sit here and uh, readjust a few batteries. He has dinner. I've, I've really worn him out and he's going to do it again with me tomorrow. And he's going to do it with me on Thursday. Uh, he's a little, uh, he's going to really be precedent this week. I'm probably going <laughs> to come over and retire on Friday morning. All right, we're gonna unplug this, unplug that. I tell you what, we uh, we stay busy with these plugging and unpluggings. But we've been doing pretty good. We are now nine uh, nine hours, almost ten hours streaming today, and we're still doing good on energy. So I I put that in the box. That's not supposed to go there. I just took the anchor out. Nicola G. I have was, a good evening. It's almost midnight where you're at. I was my water pot with the batteries. I hope your Tuesday has been a wonderful one. I like the fourth bottle. You've shrunk a lot today. Doing okay. Have a great night, Nicola. That's why Cheryl, we go with a circle. Nothing to be embarrassed about here, Emily. Nothing at all to be embarrassed about. The people who don't understand, they pre pretty much probably don't stay around very long. <laughs> Those who do, we get to hang out with them as long as they can stay. And oh, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Brian. Brian just sent in a $10 PayPal. Thank you, ear to ear, the awesome stream today. We love y'all guys so much. You make our day so much better. It is reciprocal. That is the right word, right? Reciprocal. That's a good word, reciprocal. It's reciprocated. You gotta keep it reciprocated. Da -na -na. No, Brian, thank you so much. Guys, um, we meet so many wonderful people through this community. Um, straight through. So thank you, Brian. And uh, all I can say is uh, thank you uh, for uh, being our people, for getting us, and that we can have a chance to get you back and understand exactly what's going on. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Emily. Oh. Brian says, I'm excited to come to Disney World at the end of September. We're going to be smacking this spooky season. Maybe not spooky. Maybe spoopy? I think spoopy is the right word. That, that being said, um, what, what day did you have planned? Like one the H H N meetup? Uh, September 9th. Saturday, September 9th. Saturday. Anyone who wants to come and join us, either local or you're going to be on vacation, uh, we are going to be going to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Anyone in the community who would like to go, anyone in 
the community who like to hang out with us, whether you want to do the houses or whether you want to just hang out and have some food with those who don't want to do the houses. Uh, we're going to have both groups there. And uh, it will be again at Universal Studios September 9th. It's a Saturday. We have a lot of mods who will be there. Uh, and we would love to have you guys join us as well. If you're local, if, uh, if you're going to be getting a fear pass, or if you'd like for us to help you purchase a fear pass so that you can go several times for Halloween Horror Nights, you can reach out and contact us about that. Or if you'd just like to buy a one-night ticket, reach out. We'd be glad to help you guys with that as well. We'll have further details on that as we get closer into September. Uh, but we want to just spend no streaming. We will not be streaming that night. It would just be fun. We're just going to be hanging out. So uh, if you guys are interested, again, Saturday, September 9th at Universal Studios. And uh, we're going to be doing Halloween Horror Nights. If you are coming to do houses with us, if you're going to be all spooky in houses, uh, we would ask that you guys please budget in for an express pass because we want everyone who's coming to do houses to be able to go through them together. And we're going to go through all the houses together. So... Welcome in, Marcella. Happy Christmas in July. Thank you for nature watching most of the day. Now you get to come in and hang out for some fun with us. Bebo is like excited to be spoopy. I learned that one from my daughter. To be spoopy. Not so spooky. We are here at my little location. Whoo! Who's getting pizza fries the night of HHN? Our party. Uh, Gabriel, everybody. <laughs> it's like the staples. Can, can you really call it HHN if you didn't get pizza fries? Welcome in. It's Cindy time. <laughs> That's what we call it. Sydney time. Sydney gets to do what Sydney wants to do. That's a, it's like the Twilight Zone. Not like Twilight, like weird, but it's a line out the door. So I'm assuming no mobile order. Pizza fries. Well, Bebo, unfortunately, we don't have uh, tickets for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party just yet. But uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to pull a, uh, a night where we can at least grab maybe a ticket or two, bring in, and let you guys hang out with us. I don't know if we're gonna get to all the food in one night. We got so much to do. There's the 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 villain uh, spectacular. Um, there's the hocus pocus spectacular, villain spectacular. Um, there's uh, the booty you parade. There's a lot of stuff to do. Welcome in Disney Dad. <laughs> oh, no. I knew it. What? I knew it was going to be the giant cinnamon roll. Of course, it's the giant cinnamon roll. What do you think it was? Well, I mean, that's better than like so that would have been like dinner. It's a line. Maybe I should stop for a table out here. Oh, they'll be. Order it? What's that? Can you handle it? Can I handle it? Can, you can, can I handle it? Do you think I can? I can handle it. Okay, I'll search for a table, uh, maybe inside. Or... Um, you know what? I think it's it's pretty mobile. We can uh, we can even make it make it go back over to uh, um, Pinocchio. Okay. A lot more tables to choose from there. 
That's pretty mobile. Ba 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 ba. Oh no. We I take everything on the positive side. I get in trouble for that sometimes. Hollow Wishes is great, Emily, but you gotta admit, the Trick or Treat song is pretty cool, and having Jack Skeleton as large and as huge as he is on stage, I, it's, that's pretty cool. Now we're just, now we're just going all over the place, right? And there's like, I was hoping for some ice cream. It seemed like we got baked goods, though. Bebo, what is your absolute favorite day of the year to visit the parks? You know, strangely enough, in all of it all, I, as much as I love Christmas time, there's something about Halloween decor here at the Magic Kingdom. Mickey pumpkins, everything, everything orange and lit up. Um, and my favorite parade is a Booty You parade. So any day I can come and do Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party is an amazing day. I do enjoy a really good Halloween spoopy day here in the parks. Hey, I'm just opening up, Julie, so y'all guys can all come in and have a good old time. Uh, yes, Carol. Uh, yes. Actually, we were, I was driving by Portillo's um, last Friday, I think it was, Carol, and I almost, I almost stopped and ordered just a dog. I almost did. I'm No lie. The cake shakes they have there are pretty good. I've enjoyed three square meals with the stream today. <laughs> At least somebody's had one. <laughs> Uh-oh. What are we out of? What are we out of here? We're out of something? No more turkey legs. Oh, no more turkey legs. No more turkey. Out of, I've never heard of them out of turkey legs. Wow. All right. The line got shorter. Well, I'm glad we're here for that day, Go Tigers. I I do love the Christmas tree. I love everything. But the, here's the thing: is that Christmas time. Um, I don't know something about a night parade. We don't get the Main Street Electrical Parade anymore, and so a Booty You Parade is at nighttime, and uh, it's just uh, it's so much fun to have a Booty You Parade. Uh, it's one of the great shows, the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. I could watch that over and over and over again. It's the gray stuff. We haven't had the gray stuff cupcake in a long time. All right, Ryan, have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out with us today. So Emily, we got to share some clips from this morning uh, on our first stream, and I think we're going to share a few more of those. I would love, uh, as we uh, jump into a cinnamon roll here soon, uh, I'm going to play a couple more milestone clips from uh, some memories from back, back in the past. So hang out with us, and uh, we're going to share some of those memories with you guys. Oh, April, I so do miss the uh, Osborne family spectacle of dancing lights. Oh, that was such an amazing display. No, I can't 
I haven't signed up for the rewards at Portillo's. I get a free chocolate cake on my birthday, Owen. On your birthday, too, Owen. Happy Nesbach. Yeah. Love a good spin. And, and that's uh, Liberty's favorite time of the year, is too. All right, Kona Cafe. Kona Cafe has Stitch. K May Cafe has Donald, Daisy, Minnie, and Goofy. Mm. I do go. I, I do. I do love a good. Uh, uh, or not. Not Kona Cafe. That's um, on uh, Ohana. I'm sorry. Kona Cafe. Ooh, see, now one's a character breakfast and one's not. One's a buffet and one's not. Are you really, really hungry and want to hug Minnie? Go K Mac Cafe. You want to save a little bit of money and have a big old thing of Kong Tonga toast? Go to Kona Cafe. Man, Epcot, when they do a, a, a fireworks celebration, there's so many fireworks, it just literally just kills the sky with light. It's crazy. Boop to you, boop to you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you. Randy and Heidi, thank you, side guys, so much for hanging out with us today. Hitting 25,000 Magic Crew members. And we're close. We're only seven away from hitting 25,100. So. I want you guys to know if you did hit the subscribe button here today. This is a, uh, this is a good group of people to hang out with in all sincerity. And all honestly, this is a place that you can invest your emotions and your time with and people will take care of it people will be here to uh lift you up and bring you up with them so if you subscribe here today feel free to jump into the chat and make some friends because uh you're gonna enjoy it yes if you want to do a holiday i agree christmas is the best time because you get christmas at all four parks you get the Merry Menagerie at Animal Kingdom. Uh, you get all this, the uh, Festival of the Holidays over at Epcot. Um, you get Jollywood Nights and other things over at Hollywood. Um, and uh, there's it's everywhere. When you go to Halloween, it's only going to be at the Magic Kingdom. There's not going to be decorations for any of the other three parks. Uh, and that's something to take in consideration. Very much so. I agree. I, I kind of hold that against them too, Emily. I understand why they did it, but. My favorite thing to do, Emily, was always to find the black cat. I don't know if you guys know the story, but when they bought the Osborne uh, family uh, lights, um, they accidentally put a Halloween light inside the display. And instead of Disney just putting it aside, they actually decided to hide the Halloween black cat in amongst the Christmas lights in a different location every year. So it was kind of fun every time we came in to find the black cat. A little fun tradition. Oh, well, we're going to do it again this year as well. For the Halloween season, we're going to take you guys, both for Halloween and Christmas, we will pick a time to take you guys over and to walk through and tour all of the campsites and see some of the cool things that they set up for, for both Halloween and the Christmas season.
So picking peaches, uh, they had to get rid of the Osborne lights because they just didn't have a place to put them. Uh, it took them a lot of time and a lot of money every year to put the lights up. And they got rid of the Streets of America. It's where Galaxy's Edge is located at the moment. Um, and uh, well, kind of, but they could not make Galaxy's Edge work if uh, with the Streets of America. So that had to go. And that was the last place that they said. There was a lot of people who said they should put it at Disney Springs. Um, we think that that would have probably have kind of disrupted how Disney Springs works as far as shopping. Business-wise, it just didn't make sense. And unfortunately, they had to get rid of the lights. They had nowhere to put it. And they didn't have the budget to put them up anymore. Oh, we would do that, Emily. We would wait to get there at dusk when they turn on the lights. That was a great time of night. Oh, there were so many hidden Mickeys in the uh, Osborne lights. They'd hide them everywhere. We would count them. I think that was actually true, but honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know. Think about it. Uh, the uh, Gift Kids the World uh, did have their all of their lights displays. Um, they can't do it anymore because the village opened all the way back up uh, to kids and their families now. Um, but uh, I remember being there when they were opening up. They they bought and and and, and put up so many new lights. I don't think they did very many old ones as far as like reuse lights because we watched them. Uh, we were there the very first year that they were putting up the lights for the uh, uh, the, the light show there at Give Kids the World Village and uh, there were carts and carts, boxes and boxes of brand new lights. Yeah, I don't know what's going on up there. Oh my goodness, Riley, they were so amazing. And the, everything was coordinated with music. They would play music um, and all, every single light would just go straight with the music. It was amazing. I'm not sure. I picked the wrong one, bud. I picked the wrong line. I'm beginning to wonder. Thank you, Heather, for reminding everybody. Do not forget to go back to part one stream and leave a comment, guys. We will be giving away a Cinderella Disney 100 popcorn bucket. And uh, we will be drawing the name tomorrow during our, uh, when we stop to eat on tomorrow's stream at Disney's uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. So the enter, you have to leave a comment. So go back to part one, leave a comment. It doesn't matter how many, it doesn't matter what you leave. Just leave a comment. Every comment is a uh, entry. We're not really sure what's going on, guys. There we go, Ice Dog. Let it snoop, let it snoop, let it snoop. And we picked the wrong line. We're nearly not sure what's wrong. Are we out of, are we out of uh, cinnamon rolls? 
No, there's one. <laughs> Heather's like, I told you you should have chosen a Sunday. So we usually spend a, a few days before, and uh, the last time we were there, we got to see uh, the Headless Horseman and then go explore the uh, campground a little bit. We even got a special tour. We had another uh, camper uh, help us out. They oh, put yeah, us on their, nice. they were extremely nice. They put us on their, um, their golf cart and they took us for a special tour. I don't think they did. <laughs> I am beginning to wonder. I, I really don't know what happened. <laughs> the entire line is kind of filled out behind us, Owen. Is it too late to redo and switch the number four? What did I do, Patricia? I don't know. Congaloosh! Never ask, never forget to ask for your extra, your extra icing. Something was going wrong. There's something was wrong with their water, and they had to get a refund. So, it took a while. That's all. No big deal. <laughs> Is this gonna affect the chew and review?
Thank you. Three, three strands. Four, 4 a.m. does come early. Good night. Have a wonderful time at work at 4 o'clock in the morning. Somebody's got to make the donuts. Thank you, Three Strands. Have a wonderful night. We just want to, we just want a cinnamon roll. That's all we want. Just want, just want that right there. For six seventy nine. Warm. Of course, at this point, I'm kind of looking at that ham provolone and Swiss sandwich. Hey. Hey, hey. The option one. I know. What's wrong with it? Don't break the rules. Thank you for everybody. One cinnamon roll with a little extra icing, and that'll be it. Christmas in July. I had my onesie on this morning. Honestly, this is the kind of snack you need to share because of how big it is. It is. It's a big cinnamon roll. It is not tiny whatsoever. It's a nice hat. It's, they change it over the years, so I'm, I'm glad I got this one. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, sir. Of course. And uh, we'll grab more for you at K. Thank you. Wow, it's. I forgot how much time difference there is between us. Are you guys having a good morning there? We're kind of in the afternoon right now. You want me to hold it and you got the stream for a second? Um, I'm going to trade. Uh, trade, trade, trade. Trade, 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 trade. It's hot. Don't lose it. Icing's on the side. It's going to fall off. You got it? I got it. All righty. That's it. That's it. Okay, so it's still on the Woo! All right, happy Wednesday, everybody. Wait, no, no, it's still Tuesday. Sorry, still Tuesday. <laughs> All right, let's go find ourselves a table and dig into. Look at the twilight on that castle. Forever Young's making a red sauce and a pesto, splitting spaghetti. Ooh, a little pasta. Is it posture bedtime? I'm never, um, Dennis, I am a bit hungry. It's been a good day since I've gone. Are you, Gene, watching from the UK? I love you guys are staying up so late to get a little bit of Disney magic. Bubbles? Bubbles! I love this time of day, Michael. I'll tell you what, if, you, uh, if you're coming here this time of day, come and get yourself a photo from behind the castle. I know everybody always wants to go in front of the castle, and I get it, I understand. You swing around, something about this view, especially with the turrets, the carousel, you get some really great shots back here. <laughs> Good morning, Pam. Did we miss food and wine? <laughs> Wade in the H2O, happy 25K day. So we are finishing up part two of our stream today with one sugary, whoop, one sugary treat. I think I just kicked something. I don't know where it went. There's a water bottle. Water bottle? Uh oh. So where are we first? Uh, let's see, is the uh, balcony closed? Balcony looks to be closed. If not, we go balcony. You know, you know, I'm good for a good balcony. How about right here? This is perfect. So. 
You tired? What you need is some sugar. I'm not sure. I'm going to be here. Go ahead and get that water out again. Oh, it's in here. Water bottle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody get your water bottle out. No, do not. Oh boy. You guys asked for it. There we go, grumpy, dumpy, dopey. We can do that. Can you smell it? Ham can smell the cinnamon. <laughs> it is our dinner tonight, Jackie. <laughs> Basically, yep. All right, Owen, I'm going to have a couple bites. You can have the rest. You're a growing boy. Hey, we uh, we waited a long time for this. Let's enjoy it. So, uh, just to kind of share with you guys uh, some of the uh, things that we have ex experienced with you guys uh, over the past few years, I, I I shared a few clips from this morning uh, in our streams, uh, and I'd love to share a couple more with you guys. Uh, when we hit nine thousand. We hit 9,000 Magic Crew uh, members back in May of uh, 2022. Uh, you guys uh, voted that uh, we were going to get my face painted in Epcot to celebrate 9,000 members. Uh, while I was getting my face painted, I took my glasses off, and at one point there was this guy standing off to, to the side. I just couldn't quite see quite clearly that day. It was Walt from uh, Mouse Talk, and he was hanging out. I just read in Guardians of the Galaxy for the first time. Um, and uh, love that he could just kind of hang out for a bit. Uh, and I'd like to share this memory with you guys as well. How am I looking so far, guys? How is this? Oh my gosh. I need some things. Yeah. Let me get some things. What's up, Chris? How's it going? That's awesome. How you doing, Taywal? Good. How are you? We are celebrating 9,000 subscribers today awesome. with some face painting. What a great challenge. You guys want to say hello to Mouse Talk over there? How you doing? Good? Doing awesome. I just got done with Guardians. Uh, what did you, you think? Is this was your, was it your first time riding? First time. How did you feel afterwards? Fantastic. Thank you so much. Marina, right? Yes, my name's Marina. You're ear to ear. Ear to ear. Chris said ear to ear magic. Ear to ear magic. I'm going to have to look well, thank you very much. Now, now we gotta, now we gotta get checked out and pay, pay for this awesome job. Awesome. Looking so. good. That was nine thousand back in May of last year. So, and that was the first time we got to meet Marina. Does space painting here? Does an amazing job. And uh, she also uh, helped us out with getting our uh, face painted this year uh, for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, that was just my doctor. Yeah, so much sugar. It's Don't not. do it. 
<laughs> but he's a nine corn, don't do it. <laughs> so there's a story about that. Um, the story about that is the fact that that day uh, I had to do my COVID tests to get on a Royal Caribbean cruise. <laughs> No, no joke. I'm 100% serious on this. Back then, yeah, had to like come home and immediately wash your face off. So. No, I didn't want to though. Here's the thing: you had to do your COVID tests uh, three days before your Royal Caribbean cruise. And Susan and I were cruising um, on a Royal Caribbean ship that weekend, and I had to get on a video conference call with a doctor person practitioner who uh, was to facilitate my COVID test to make sure that I did it right and that the test was correctly done. It was all done by video Zoom conference. I get home and Susan's like, don't forget, you have to take your COVID test today, tonight. You have to do it tonight so you can make it in time. It has to be negative in a certain time frame to get on the cruise ship. I said, okay, no problem. She goes, we're gonna have to wash your face. I'm like, why? Because you can't show up for your COVID test with a tiger. Why? Just that you can't. So I, I had to, I had to wash not? my face off. I just can't. Why not? I do. Just to, I, the thing I had to do to get on the cruise ship, I had to wash my face. Greg, what do you think we do when we hit 30K? I don't know. I think, um, 25 is just it's 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 a number it's great to celebrate but the great thing is is we have an amazing group of people that we can always count on coming in and having fun together i would love to do something completely out of the box for 30. i mean completely completely out of the box maybe out of disney maybe out of orlando Both work cam was a lot of fun. She made me wash my face, Michelle. <laughs> I don't have great. Right. I'm great. Sarah, you've eaten too much um, bakes right there, buddy. <laughs> That's a concerning amount. Believe me, the amount of sugar and frosted flakes is not even close to this. Not even close. Next feat, Owen's going to run across the Seven Seas Lagoon. Next, like, they're eating. No, without they're eating all their sugar. I'm going to be real. I'm hoping this doesn't make my stomach upset. Since I've been walking all day. Yeah, and you haven't had any real food, so. Great. They better accept this. Thank you to everybody in the UK who's been staying up so late just to hang out with us. Um, I love it. Oh, we have right there. Nicola. Yeah. Nicola for our patron calls. Nicola stays up just to hang out in our patron calls and watches from the UK. We we love our UK family. I'm, I'm tired. I'm gonna be real. After this, man. <laughs> Speaking of our UK family, some of our UK family is coming in next week. Oh, Orlando's gonna be coming in here soon. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen them in a bit. Can't wait to see these guys. They've been waiting a whole another year. Um, Walt and Melissa are great people. Love them. Uh, Marina, if you guys ever wanna have your face painted, if you ever seen Marina at any of the face stations around here, let them know, year to your magic sent you. She's gonna do a good job no matter what, but I promise you it'll probably give a little smile on her face. Yeah, probably so. When we get home, we'll make a sandwich. Why are you looking? Oh, you're accepting me. I know, you can say it. You can say it. You're a big boy. Come on, say it. Say uh, it. Sandwich. There you go. <laughs> there you go, good job. You did it. You know we have to. Uh, yeah, I've had, um, well, I mean, the chicken, the chicken sandwich was good, but other than that, I've had, like, a refreshing dip, so. I hope you know, not my first rodeo. 
actually would be my first rodeo. Um, I've not ever been to a real rodeo. Now, I have been in a greasy pig contest as a kid. What? Okay, I was born in the South, okay? I'm a redneck. We do stuff like that, and it's a lot of fun. Don't knock it till you try it. Uh, it involves a lot of, lot of lard in Crisco and a really scared pig. Um, but we'll save that one for another day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Disney Dad, what's the difference between the Patreon group and the YouTube monthly membership? That is a good question. Actually. Completely different programs. First of all, yes. uh, our Patreon group is outside of YouTube. It's actually on Patreon.com. Completely different website. Um, which does allow us to post pictures uh, and video. Um, and uh, we have a monthly Zoom call every month. The first Tuesday of every month, unless it's a holiday or something special in which we move it. Uh, we have a Zoom call where our patrons of any level uh, can jump in and be a part of it. And we get to know those people, our patrons, really well because we get to see and hear them. Um, love our patron group. And it's a way for you to uh, do a monthly commitment uh, to the channel. And uh, our, our patrons are, you know, they a little bit more than just, say, the $4. Our patron group is our main area of support. The Magic Crew cast, we wanted to keep it low so that everyone could have the opportunity to join. We did not want to make it difficult. We didn't want to make it really complicated. There's only one level, and it's just for basically things here on YouTube. Yeah. So you get a badge by your name, you get your name in green to show you're a member of it, and you get exclusive emojis that we change out on a regular basis. Uh, mainly, um, has a few perks, but we know that majority of people do it for the sole benefit of just helping us out and keeping the camera rolling. One is completely outside of YouTube uh, and may involve some things that are completely outside of YouTube altogether. Uh, and the uh, Mag Magic Crew cast is solely just for the YouTube platform. So some of the things we may do may involve some of the things we may need to do for Instagram um, and for other things. And the patron group makes a really big uh, help for that. So. Whichever is the best for you guys, but we know that some people are able to support more. That's great for the patron group. If you just would like to help out um, and able to do just here on YouTube, we love the Magic Crew cast. This guy's about to fall asleep. I, I'm tired. And all he's had is sugar in the past six hours, so I think it's time for us to make our way to the front of the castle. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Uh, here, put it here. I'll take care of this. So, what do you think, man? Good? Good. Um, four out of five. <laughs> four out of five. That's good. <laughs> okay. He's tired. He's done. And he's going to do it all again tomorrow with me, so. I refused it once before. Go back. If you want to review, go back to like that Pacific Street. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to give you a done. reference. It's all been done. Do, do, do. It's all been done. It's a lot of sugar. Make sure to bring your friend. Don't try to eat that by yourself. Oh, yeah. Please, this, is, this is something you share. Do not eat that on your own. Okay? No. It is officially 745, 7.1. Wait, what? It's a little early. It's always yeah. been a little early. It's 745 in four minutes. <laughs> I tell you what, we are uh, we are five Magic Crew members away from our next minor milestone. <clears throat> if you're watching today and you've been having a great time and you haven't taken a chance to just hit the subscribe button and uh, say you're going to come back and do this again with us in the future, we'd love for you guys to do so. Five more subscribers and we're going to be at 25,100. It's like the Haunted Mansion. We have 25,095 Magic Crew members. There's always room for one more. And I hope that there always will be. Now, the biggest and best way you can always look to support what we do on the channel is making, oh, no, 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 no. The best and best way ever 
is just to make sure that we are taking care of our kids first and foremost. Um, we want to make sure that we pay our bills. We want to make sure that we feed our kids. We want to make sure they have a safe place to sleep every single night. I'm tired. I shouldn't be allowed to. And we do that with our small business. Susan and I are travel nation travel agents, guys. And if you know someone who is ready to travel in 2023 and 2024, we would love to be their travel agents. We would love to be your travel agents. So if you guys are ready to travel at any time, whether it's Disney, Universal Orlando, you want to go on a cruise, Royal Caribbean, Disney Cruise Line, Virgin Voyages, Carnival, if you'd like to go to Sandals or beaches or go anywhere else, we would like to have somebody help you in the process. We would love to be that person to help you. And we're not going to charge you anything for it. As a travel agent, we get paid by the companies that we help you book with. We get a commission after you travel. So it costs you the same as if you book with them directly or we help you with the booking. If you come here to Disney, we're going to help you with travel to and from the airport. We can help you with dining. If you guys are booking both hotel and tickets with us and the whole package, we can help you with uh, dining reservations. Uh, we can help you with uh, getting a stroller or a scooter and uh, anything we can do to help take a little bit of that stress away from your next vacation by helping you with the little small details. So if you know someone and you want to give them our information, tell them to send an email to Susan Edwards at travelmation.net. Copy me at Chris Edwards at travelmation.net. We would love to be your Travelmation travel agent moving forward. How does that help us out? Because as long as everything else is taken care of, we have the freedom to come in and to take you guys on all kinds of experiences, knowing that our family's taken care of first. So thank you guys for helping us take care of our family by letting us take care of your family, club, organization, school, or church for their next vacation. So. This is this is a lot. I'm, I'm kind of going I think tomorrow, guys, I think tomorrow, and we should just stay out of the parks. I think tomorrow we should spend the entire time tomorrow at a resort. What do you think? We have so much parks going on today. I think tomorrow we should just stay at a resort. Stay like as in like. Owen, Owen, Owen. All right, you, Owen needs to go to bed. <laughs> We're doing a resort tour tomorrow. I was joking. We're not going to go to I a park tomorrow. He is done. <laughs> Stick a fork in him. He's finished. Wait, what? what does that mean? Stick a fork in you. You're done. Excuse me? It's cooking term. If your fork goes through and it comes out clean, it's finished. It, it, it's done. You don't have to cook it anymore. Uh, it's been in the oven long enough. You baked long enough. You are, you are tired, aren't you? I am. He is. He, time to go home. Let it, let it be known on a normal day. On a normal day when you're spending like... like Soft kitties. In the park, you're purr, purr, purr. <laughs> we just went to like all four. So how many steps do you guys think we've stepped today? How many I, steps? I'm checking. I'm checking. Oh, right I know now. exactly how many we've done. Is yours the same as mine? 17,433 steps so far. 17,435. Yours is 17,000. How much is yours? 23,000. You have smaller feet. <laughs> <laughs> yours is 23,000? You've walked this, you've had the same app and you've got 23 and I've got 17. Wow. Apple app, right? A little bit of a difference. Well, you did walk to that bathroom by yourself that one time. It was kind of far away. That's about right, Kim. By the time we're done, we will be. We would have taught. We would have walked about uh, eighteen thousand steps today. Mine may have been a little bit on the low side. Every time I picked, every time I picked up your gimbal, I technically picked up your phone with it, so I could have bought it. 
I could have stolen so, some of your steps so your step count went down. Naomi's like, is that it? <laughs> That's what he wanted to do, Michelle. I was like, can we just can we just book a room right now and go there and go to sleep? That way we can just wake up and just, just tour it. Just toss How it cool would that be? We don't have that. Kind of no, yeah, we don't. We don't have that. I might be able to get a Motel Six and drive back. <laughs> we just get Motel Six and buy like like. Six we live packages. closer. We live closer to Walt Disney World than the Motel Six, so that just seems silly. Uh, we just rent, we just rent a Motel Six and we buy like six animal plushies. We put up a picture of like we print a picture of Simba and like just put it up on the wall. <laughs> Thank you, Tangela. Thank you so much for subscribing today. Welcome in. Glad to have you part of the community. Can't wait to see you in our next live stream. Have a wonderful evening. Can we, can, can we, can we get Animal Kingdom Lodge? Uh, no, son. We have Animal Kingdom Lodge at home. <laughs> Animal Kingdom Lodge at home. <laughs> wow, that's awesome, Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Sleep well tonight, Pam. To all of our UK friends, dream of pirates and stitch creatures and may you wake up refreshed as if we didn't keep you up all night. Ooh. Well guys, it's time to wrap up part two. Do not forget guys, uh, if you want to have a chance, we're gonna go pick up our popcorn bucket now as I want our way out. We need you guys to enter part one. Not part two, part but part one, one is where we're going to pull our stream uh, links for tomorrow. We are going to randomly choose a number associated with one of any of the comments uh, on part one at, on the replay. And that person, we're going to send them a Cinderella Coach Disney 100 popcorn bucket that we're going to pick up just now. So make sure to leave a comment. You can do it on part two as well. We love it when you guys do that. The more comments get, we get, the more people will find us and become a part of our crew and we'll just have that many more people to enjoy the day with but to enter the contest we need you guys to go find part one leave a comment tune in tomorrow as we have fun over at disney's animal kingdom lodge and uh during our lunch break where we eat what you guys choose for us we will choose uh who is our winner from the comments from up part one. Thursday, we're gonna be at Food and Wine. Friday, we're gonna be back at Animal Kingdom. I, I'm excited because I I don't, like the last, story, I don't think we were um, in there because we had an appointment, appointment, so I'm excited to see the options there. What's that? In Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh, in Animal Kingdom Lodge? Yeah. We're gonna be doing, we're gonna be walking all over uh, Jumbo House and Kanani Village tomorrow, so it's gonna be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty intense. Packed. Well, guys, before I sign off for today, um, <laughs> Tony says, if I need a room near Disney, I know who I got. A, I got a person. I got a person. I oh, to the mouse. Are. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Tangela. We'll hope to see you again real soon. Uh, Owen will probably fall asleep on the bus and I'm going to have to hold him over my shoulder, just like we did when he was a little kid. Um, those bus rides, man, Woo! the Disney dads, you guys know what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, Teresa. Uh, to all of our mods tonight, thank you guys for sticking in here all day long. We have, if you guys think we're tired, think about the fact that all of our mods have been doing this all day long as well. So, thank you, Patrick. Guys, have a wonderful night. Sleep well. And remember, you are seen, you are heard, and we are so happy to have you in part of our community. Uh, and never do we want you ever to feel like you're alone. And that there's not somebody here to listen to you and to help you out when you need help. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. It has been a pleasure. Congratulations on 25,000. Four parks of fun. Four well, parks well of really kind of five. Kind of four five. Four parks of holding this onesie in my backpack. He has been carrying that sweat field onesie all day long. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, you cannot tell me I'm not committed. You're not committed. Oh, I did. <laughs> hey, until you put that onesie on. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's torture. It's an amazing group. And uh, finally, uh, today, guys, I know it's late in the day, but as always, we want you guys to always remember at the end of our streams, whether you're watching this live or you're watching it in replay, 
find somebody out today and spread a little sunshine, share a laugh, share a smile, share a compliment, but whatever you do, be the sunshine in somebody else's day. Guys, have a wonderful evening. Have a great time. We'll see you guys tomorrow at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. And congratulations, guys. 25,097 Magic Crew members. You're amazing. Always, always remember that. You guys have a great evening. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the parks. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one. We'll see you again real soon.